Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither Holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with Gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining knight and the champions of the sun. Having aided me in a desperate time, they have earned my service and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost. Hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland, I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sakut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the lost to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. Aha! Hello, friends! You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law, I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. My name is Virexen. I am a monk who was exiled into Greece after fleeing my homeland. I was sent on a quest via a dream I received. I went in search of great heroes I saw in the dream to help stop some monstrosity from wreaking havoc across the world. I found those heroes in the Champions of the Sun. Now I strive to gain their trust so they can one day help me defeat the vile beast that threatens everything. I am Boren. The I once in Violet. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the Champions of the Sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias of the House of Bathory. Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and 
more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Let's give this another try. Welcome back. I'm Tom. We have some, a lot of technical issues tonight. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for joining us. We'll go through this quicker. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, some are in construction, AT, others retail managers, a few are parents, students, etc. So while we do this strictly for fun, we hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Anyway, there were quite a few thank yous. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being patient. So we're about 40 minutes behind technology. We'd like to thank all of you, our Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube followers. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow us. We greatly appreciate it. To all of our subscribers, thank you. So what's going on with the characters? They're building strength and allies to defeat the powerful Bayou Cosman Ghazi. The party climbed the huge Mount Untersberg. They're actually inside it right now. Finding their way in, they negotiated a deep pit with a huge automated ballista. Despite the challenge with the monk teleporting down, then leaping up, then falling down, the party managed to negotiate their way past it. In a massive, wickedly dark cavern inside the Untersberg Mountain, we rejoin their adventure. Let's see if we do, in fact. Look at that, I see Ryan moving, so I'm going to say that's a oh. yes. Yes. We're animated. Right. We're, We're animated. animated. <laughs> you are inside the giant Untersberg Mountain. You're in a huge cavern. The floor is not a floor at all, but dramatic rises and falls, rocks and stalagmites and cover the entire area. Some of the slick stalagmites tower upwards, disappearing into the darkness. It is wickedly dark. We talked about light sources already. Everybody roll a perception check. Seven. Eleven. I'll take silence from the peanut gallery as a low roll. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you feel something brush up against you, almost as if somebody bumped into you while passing by you. No. <laughs> uh, where? On my left or right? Uh, right. I'll kind of move over behind, I'll move over behind Borinth, take a look with my light. I'll shine it over there. You move behind Borinth, you shine your light, you take your right light, and you point and you see Zyman. Zyman's like, what is it? What did, what did you see? Something touched me. What touched you? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm going to take my hammer, it's lit up, and I'm going to walk a little bit more for, further towards this end over here. Okay. I'm trying to get a glimpse of if this continues onwards or if this... Huge crate, like crater in the middle. You, opens up. it's it's rough terrain. You guys are moving at half pace through here. You're like climbing over stalagmites uh, and and uh, and moving around rocks. It's not a smooth surface. And you get over toward that corner and move your finger over there, please. And it just you notice that it just kind of you thought. look up to you get toward okay. the edge yeah. and you look down and you can see it just kind of disappears into the darkness down there. Run, okay. go okay. the other way. Yeah, I'll, I'll start working my way back to them and just let them know that it ends. It ends down along this side. There's no way to pass through on that side. So maybe we should ah. double back around the other side. See what we find. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's make haste. Is there any way that we can light this place up more? I have no means by which no? to okay. light it up more. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want me to right. throw some fire around. All right, <laughs> so let's do that. So we double back. We can double back. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. You start doubling back. You're. You pretty much are kind of following the edge of that. You see that little ridge of, of rocks, and then it kind of drops off. Not a huge drop off in toward this region. And then, and then you could tell when you were over here that that was a huge drop off. And you kind yeah. of double back, and you continue toward where you came down initially. Yeah, yeah coming back down towards this, uh, almost where the bridge, where the bridge would have been. Okay. Not on top, but on this level. Okay, so just move your figure, at least the lead guy over there, and I'm assuming everybody's kind of trailing yep. behind you. Mm -hmm. Scared. It's scared. Yeah, I'm focusing my light mostly on the ground after hearing I'm something right. brushed against <clears throat> somebody's pretending. leg. I'm pretending to be tough, but every noise. <laughs> <laughs> <Saint> George, 
Hey, Georgie, go find a... <laughs> <laughs> Can you... Uh, well, find a way out, Georgie. Mm. Well, could the raven see in here? No. No? Okay. Unless I tie What a, if we lit him up? Tie a what light, if we... I tie put, a rock light to his leg. Yes. Why not? <laughs> Why couldn't we do I that? Could, I could light him up, right? <laughs> could light the raven up or have him hold on to a light rock. Sure. Is that not enough visibility? I mean, I don't know. Let's send, let's send a beacon into the air. <laughs> <laughs> He'll pick up the rock I'm using for light and <clears throat> fly him this way. Okay, you cast light on a tiny pebble, and <laughs> because he's not going to be able to lift much more than he's not going to be able to lift a rock. <laughs> and <laughs> he takes stick. off. And what what's the radius well, of twenty and twenty? Okay, possible. twenty bright, twenty dim. Twenty bright, twenty dim. And he takes off and he starts going in which direction? This way, like kind of over the whole. Okay, I'm are you you can see as him. Are yeah. you looking through his yeah. eyes? So you guys see Balder standing there and his eyes roll up into his skull and he's in the zone, so to speak, and he starts flying along. So he's flying low to the ground then, is yeah. he? Because even through the stag tights. Okay, so he starts weaving his way through over in you he gets toward that general area over in there, and he starts and he kind of weaves back toward where the wall was at the back side. And you see generally what you see there. Uh, take a die and put it on the board as him, please. I'm going to go with a d12. I never okay. <laughs> and then which way is he continuing at this point? Okay. Uh, he, he... Okay, we're going to roll at 50. So you can go about 50 more. Okay, so he continues off in that general direction. And he sees it kind of drops off straight in front of him. Okay. What is he doing? About how deep does that look? It looks like it's probably about 40 feet deep. Have him, have him circle back around to us. And see yeah, I'll, have him, I'll have him come this way over the thing and come back. Okay. He circles back around again. He's weaving in between stalagmites. Kind of, and he passes over the remnants of the bridge right there that, that fell down into the, the gorge. And then it seems like it's a much deeper section okay. at this point. And it kind of disappears into the darkness, if you will. Okay. Okay. All right, so he'll come back. What do you think? What direction should we head? I don't know. It looks like this is our best way down. It's not as deep as the the larger chasm. Okay. Let's head that way. So it's almost like steps. And I'll kind of I'll like lead the way down. since they don't really know what I yeah. saw. Okay, you kind of lead the way further down, down over in there. So you guys get to put yourself near the somewhere near the ledge. It takes you a little ways because you're climbing over rubble, you're climbing over and around the, the rocks and what have you. It's kind of a rough go. And you're there at the cliff. You can't see the bottom. You look down. I mean, uh, what's the name of the bird? Oh, does uh, the bird have a name? Raven. Yeah. Raven looked down, he kind of flew, I'm going to assume he flew down briefly, yeah. and that's how he could tell Lassie. about how deep it was. Yeah, Lassie. Lassie, that's right. Lassie, that's <laughs> it. Lassie the raven. Lassie. He fell down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so he flew down a little bit, that's how he was able with a 20 foot, and 20 foot he was able to kind of, you were able to he kind of engage it a little bit, otherwise you probably wouldn't have seen the bottom. Okay, you're there, what are you doing? Hmm. So is, you said it's about a 40 foot drop from there? Yeah, it's a best right? guess. Mm -hmm. Is it a steep drop? Yeah, it looks, like, it looks a wall. like it's pretty steep. I mean, it looks like you you go up toward the edge right there and you look. Yes? No? Yeah. Yes, I look. Okay, right. you go up toward the edge and you kind of peer over. And in the space of like five foot, it disappears. <coughs> you can't see right. beyond. I will tie off. I'll tie off my rope to one of the yeah. stalagmites, throw it over the edge, and I think we're just going to have to manage kind of climb it down. Okay. Yeah. You wrap it around, you tie it off, and you throw it down into the darkness, and you just kind of echoes as it plummets down there. And you you start going down, or like rappelling down. And yeah. Or, wrap it around me and just go down. Yeah, one man at a time. I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay. So I'll it, is, like, it is a rappel, but yeah. it's rolled out. It's a yeah. rappel. What do they call that? A, I roll a myself up in the rope. <laughs> oh, and I throw myself off and roll myself out. <laughs> Give me, just, just do the standard rappel. Give me two okay. athletics checks, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna be holding on to the rope too. Understood. Okay. Understood. You're holding on to the rope. Two athletics. Don't fail me now. I don't remember where I am in the I don't remember where I am in the party order. Twenty four. You're at the back right now. And fourteen? You're, you're at the back because you want somebody to protect the other guys. 
you're 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 just whizzing down, and you get to about halfway down. Then all of a sudden, for some reason, your hands let go of the rope. Ah! And you kind of like I forgot. Spool. <laughs> you spool out, and you fall the last twenty feet. You take seven points of damage as you slam into the ground. You still have what light source do you have with you? Uh, I had a rock, but it you probably fell somewhere near me. It's probably right <laughs> near you. you. It's kind of glowing right near you. It dropped out of your Where's hand and in this immediate area. Just push your character over onto the ground right there. So, <laughs> down, any of you, you're up near the top. You can, you can... Well, all my, all down. my face is still in the dirt. I'm all right. Balder, <laughs> you can see you've got your you can see 20 yeah. foot bright, 20 foot dim, and he's down there on the ground and it's illuminating up 20 foot bright, okay. 20 foot dim. So you can almost see straight down to him right there. Roll a perception check. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, okay. Oh Never mind. Don't bother with your perception check. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they're okay. Both, okay, they're both on the bottom. Uh huh. They're All of a sudden, huh? No, no, I'm just think, I'm saying to myself, they're both down it's on the bottom. Good, it's a good thing I have death touch. How tall are those things? Uh, How tall would you say they are? Uh, 40 feet. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even. Look at Joe. I don't even see them. Uh, you, you suddenly feel these. Things, some things lashing away at you. I just picture myself like picking myself up real slow, dusting yeah. off, and then like saliva lands on my head. Uh, I think you're still kind of prone at the moment. <laughs> These arms slash, 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 and your AC 21, correct? It's a lot of lashing. It doesn't sound good. Your AC 21, correct? Yes. 21, okay, so, and they are. So one of them hits. Whoosh, this tendril swipes into you and starts pulling you toward it. The other one, they're actually going to be like pulling tug of war here. Oh boy. Uh oh. And the other one uh, lashes into it and is also kind of pulling it. Roll two 15, uh, DC 15 strength checks, please. Nope. You got this one. And a 20. Okay, so one of them, you manage to break, you actually snap one of the tendrils, and the other one pulls you in toward it, and he's going to go ahead and take a bite out of you. He, what's your AC? 20. Uh, 21. 19, uh, well over. So, you take a whopping... Ah! He's nervous when he says whopping. He's either really low or really high. There's no matter. There's no middle. No. <laughs> a whopping six. You oh, take oh. 19 points oh, of, no, of piercing damage. Is that just, that's not a whopping? It wasn't 40. I mean, that's a middle. That's, that's, that's kind of whopping solid. Me. That's solid. Okay. I consider that a whopping. Roll <laughs> initiative. The bad guys have an 11. If somebody could clean Ouch. off, there's some paper towels back on the little table back there. Go ahead. How tall are these things? Uh, how tall? They look like they're probably, I'm going to say 15 feet tall, okay. those two. Look okay. at just eyeballing, they're about three inches tall, right? Ish. Okay. Those ones. But some of them are probably going to be, you can put. So it still gives me about a 25 foot drop if I jump on one. It's going to probably still going to hurt. I'll be up here a while. Uh, I'll be up here a while. You can go down the rope a little and then jump on it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down the rope in my turn. Hmm. Okay. I got no other quick way of getting down there, so it's the rope or jump. Yeah, did you put water on it? I mean, it won't be the first time I jumped off a really high yeah. cliff. That's fine. <laughs> won't be the first time I jumped off something really high. Just for... You just swan dive Nothing but dramatic way. effect. <laughs> you just swan dive off the stuff. Just like, <laughs> boom. That's what I'm going for. Oh, yeah, you jumped off a Nimbus cloud one time. Ooh. That guy's magical thing. Oh, yeah. I jumped off a lot of them. Jumped off the, 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 uh, the right, castle that guy, wall. That guy was riding the cloud that you jumped off yep. or whatever. Yep, yep. <laughs> and I jumped, off a, I jumped off a wall of the castle. And a magic carpet. And a magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off a lot of things. <laughs> Eleven for the opponents. Yes. Eleven. One for Simon. Oh, we're rolling initiative. Yeah. Yeah, he might. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
14. 14 as well. Who told you? I'll tell you. Mattias. Mattias, roll initiative, buddy. Can he hear us? Can you hear us, Reiner? Roll initiative. Yes. Right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jokes on me. We're looking for Chicken trying to number to trying to one one one. with the SRD. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get time to think about it. Is my bonus. You get time to think about that fireball. <laughs> fireball. Fire. What's your dex, Mulder? Uh, that's a that's a fifteen. Fireball. Fireball. Fire so Mulder goes before you. Uh, Mulder, what's your dex? Negative dexterity. Negative. So I got plus one. So I go first. first. <laughs> Negative six. <laughs> I mean, really, it's really whatever. You're already down there, so it sounds to me like you're going first, regardless. Switch them up so they're in water. Oh yeah. If you could push that camera forward a little bit toward toward the battle there. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Georgie, okay. go get him. Okay. Get him. <laughs> Pick his pockets. I was given some arrows last time. Do you remember? Were they like? Yes, I gave you. They were like, arrow of the sharpness. And that was on a plus one or something. It was no. It was more than that. Oh man. Um, does anybody have on them the sharpness oil? Oh wait, it might be right here. Let me just check. He may have one. Yeah, oil of sharpness. Yes, it's a. Uh, I think they were all the same, Tom. It's a uh, plus three to attack for an hour. I gave that to him last week to use when we were motion fostering. After the ballista. Like Aldrich, you are up, followed by Mattias, Borinth. So give me a plus one. Balder, the opponents, then Zyman. Each of these creatures have already moved, uh, reacted already, correct? Well, uh. And they both attacked. Yes, right? Well, they took their. Um, surprise. They had surprise on Balder. So. Does this mean they can't be. That probably counts then. So they. For what? What are you trying to uh, I have the assassinate uh, advantage if they haven't. We already have it. Oh, okay. But I think they've moved already. You can shoot so. them from up here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so I mean, that, yeah, that was technically okay. their turn. No problem. Okay. Uh, like I will go for the one on the. my right. Okay. With the crossbow. And. That will be a. Seventeen? Seventeen does not hit. Ooh. You, the arrow goes slamming into the rock and it chinks against it. That's rough. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Mattias, you are up. Worth is on deck. I'm gonna run around the other side. Okay. All right, so what's a hell? So where am I in, in, in proportion to, the, in, in comparison to the enemies? I can't see the map. No you're no. probably, I mean, you're, you're pretty far away, and you're also well above them in difficult terrain. So you can move three hexes. I mean, you could... What weapon do you have drawn? Or ready? Well, typically, I would have my shield on my arm. I could try to use my longbow, but that would probably... You, you'd have to... Action to draw. Yeah, it would... I mean, you could use your free action to put away your sword, and then it... And then you'd have to use your action to draw your bow, but you could do that. Oh, and then you could move I'll up, do that. and you could move up closer three hexes. But you don't have to do. I'm not trying to persuade you. No, we'll move we'll forward the three hexes. Free action to shoot my sword. Uh, action to draw my bow. Okay. And I'll start shooting. You got it. I'm gonna put them right here, Tom. Okay, sounds good. I can't really see the hexes. Yep. Okay, that is Mattias Borinth. You are up. All right. I'm gonna. Um, Oh, jeez. I guess I'm going to grab onto that rope and I'm going to try to repel myself down. Okay. Like a big leap, uh, you know, with the rope. Try to repel myself all the way down to it, towards the floor. Okay, like just down. do two athletics checks, sir. Should be pretty easy for you. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, well, one's good. One's a... Uh... One's a 23. A 23, you and leap down, one. you're just like <sighs> going down. You got your. The other yours. one's a 10. The other one's a 10. You're leaping down with a rope, <laughs> and you've got your weapon in your hand, and then all of a sudden you look down and you accidentally let go of the rope, and you plummet straight down. You <laughs> just went halfway and jumped on it. 
Huh? <laughs> I thought about it. That would have been cool. You take five <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Mm. And you are down prone on the ground next to them. That's Borinth. Balder, you are up. Oh. <laughs> I get up. You get up. Half your movement, not that it matters, you're probably not going anywhere. This guy's got this this appendage wrapped around you and he's like you're like right in front of his mouth. Can I kinda can I shimmy around him? Uh shimmy around he's holding on to you. You're kinda like right oh, in front of his he's he's got you grappled. You can try and break the grapple as an action. I'll just break his teeth. Okay, you you're like <laughs> right in there, he's just like <laughs> Or you can try and break the arm that's holding you too. First attack, we'll try and break the arm. Okay. Slicing away Plenty. the arm. Huh? 27. 27, definitely. Definitely. All of a sudden, what's, uh, roll your damage. Is... Eight. Eight total? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you, <laughs> you oh, cut no. into this tendril. Technically. <laughs> wasn't good. Huh? Technically, it's more because of the fire. I, I thought you for sure you would have like. <laughs> so another eight and seven. Eight so and seven is how much total? Fifteen. Fifteen. It struggles through, and then the flame suddenly cuts through the stone, and it pops apart, and you are free standing next to it. All right, and now I will attack its face. Okay. Always oh, go for the face, Balder. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> 21, uh, 21, you slam in with your, your hammer, and it, <laughs> it rub, and then it starts to... 11 damage. 11 damage. It's still up. It looks at you nastily. Anything else? Uh, that's it. The opponents went as, as part of their surprise. Zyman, you are up. I'll creep to the edge and hurl a fire bolt. Okay. Book's fire. Uh, let's say 24 to hit. And 24 hits. Wait, at the same one that Baldur's attacking? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, only seven fire damage. Seven fire damage. Whoosh. I don't know where my fire went, but it's somewhere in there. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> And that will be it for me. That is it. It is the top of the round. Alderic, you are up. Followed by Mattias, then Bor, and then Balder, and then the opponents and Zyman. Uh, taking a shot at the further one again. Okay. With the crossbow. Ah, uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Pull a critical yes. card. Do, 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 do. Disfiguring scar. The attack causes a disfiguring scar on the target. Oh. Uh, damage by weapon or spell maximum. Saving throw none. Effect target receives a wound that results in a disgusting scar. <laughs> mm. is, that we're gonna kill this him. roper that looks disgusting at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he looks incredibly rude. Where he was so attractive to you a moment ago. Damage, maximum damage. And you get sneak Plus, attack damage. I have. Uh, yes, indeed. Attack. And the sneak attack is a five. I can only give me a concentration. Do sneak attack. Yeah, 3d6. So that's going to be 6, 12, Is it 18, a plus uh, 8, 18 plus 8 yes. is 24. No, 26. I'm, I'm not doing your math for you, dude. Plus 5 <laughs> is 31. 31. Plus, the arrow is a plus three, so it's a 34 total. 34 points, holy crumb. That's nice. pretty good, man. <sighs> That's because I sharpened his arrows. <laughs> Oosh, you see this? He's not looking healthy at all. He's not that, uh, to the extent that one cannot look healthy. Anything else? No, no. No, no, says Aldrich. Mattias, you are up. You have your bow drawn. There's one, you see, uh, down in the... The, the, through the light down below, it's kind of hard to make out, but you see Borinth and Balder in between two stalagmites, two with these long arms just kind of lashing away at them. <laughs> I don't know if he's with us. You with us, Rainer? Mattias. Borinth, you are up. No. Wait, it's your, your turn. 
Do something. Oh, it is? Shoot yeah. Down. Um, I'll take a shot then. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out some stuff. Uh, with, uh, with, my, uh, with some... Uh... Just roll your dice. Okay, um, <laughs> taking a shot with my longbow. That is a natural 20. Natural 20. Pull a credit card for it. Somebody pull a credit card for him. Your arrows. Maximum damage to the head. To the head. I think the whole thing is the head, but maximum yeah. damage to its to its head. Okay, um, do, do bows get bonuses from an attribute? I forget. Yes, dex. Just dex, yeah. Okay, so then that's 1d8 plus 3. <clears throat> you must make a DC 10 con check or be stunned. So that's uh, 10 damage. 10 points of damage! It's looking even more worse for wear, and then he's got to do make a what? DC 10 con, or be stunned. <laughs> DC 10 con, do they have a con? They have plus three to con, he rolls a nat 20. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, then he's super stunned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, so you did anything else? <laughs> Reversey. You get one or two attacks, Mattias. Sorry, what? Do you get two attacks? Or just one? Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> I, I completely forgot. Sorry, I'm, I'm, class just started up again a couple days ago. I'm, uh, okay. Um, Pick a number from 1 to 20. Let's see, with bonuses, that's a 15? A 15, your arrow chinks into the armor and bounces off, missing. Dang it. Okay, and Borinth is now up, followed by Balder. Then okay. the opponents, then Zyman. Um, all right, I'm going to... Stand up, right? I should be right in between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm going to like shoulder bump Balder out of the way as I'm swinging my hammer through onto the first, or the one that they've been attacking on the right. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, you're attacking this one? On his right, a, yes. Yeah, my right. That's a 22 to hit. A 22 hits. And, uh,. 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage to it. Uh, okay, it is just, it is barely standing. All right, so I'll take my second attack on it. Okay. Ooh, just die already. Uh, 29 to hit? 29 hits, ah, obviously. And that is... <laughs> 20 points of damage. 20! To the extent that a stalagmite can collapse, it just, it just like crumbles down. Okay, do I, and I should still have some movement left, right? Uh, you have... because yeah, I just stood up. Yes, so you use half your movement, you have, I have like 40. one box and a, uh, no, you would have two, you would have two boxes. All right, I'm gonna, gonna take move. two steps away from the other one. Okay. Closer, almost like to the side by side with Balder. Okay, you basically move him two hexes towards you, Zyman. Yeah, 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 perfect. Like okay. That. Anything else, Borinth? Nope, that's it. Balder, you are up, followed by the opponents. Let's attack him. You torrent <laughs> That's what I was looking for, like both running in. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. Natural 20! Come on, there's gotta be something better than maximum damage in there. Double. Nice, I'll all right, that. that's good, yeah. I'll take that. The hammer just glows oh, brighter than it's ever glowed. Yeah. And we do seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 points of damage. Oh, that's a 15. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 points 30. of damage. 30. 30, oh my goodness. 30 <laughs> points. Double it. It's, Double. it's just like, is rumbling. You see the like bits and pieces falling off of it as Not you bad. slam into <laughs> it. Not bad. That's pretty good. Anything else? DC 15 con. DC 15 con. He's plus three, he rolls a 12, 15. All right, and then I will attack him again. Okay. Uh, 21. 21 hits. 13. 13 more points of damage. And he is, oh, no. you guys are pounding on him. He's just 15. like 15 yeah. instead of 13? Okay. 
he is still up, but and he's looking pretty good, but he's you, you just pounded him mercilessly. Bits of the stalactite are falling off. Anything else? Just give him a grin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Balder, roll a perception check. Everybody roll a perception check, oh, please. No, <laughs> no more. Thirteen. 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 Ten. I can't even perceive that I, I had to roll a die. You can't it was, it was so bad. You're like lost in the darkness for a brief moment. You're looking around, it's like you're getting vertigo. You started to go toward the edge, but then you stopped because you were like, I can't tell where yeah, I am. It's there. so disconcerting. Imagine right being out in space and not knowing top from bottom. Reiner, what would you roll? Yeah. Perception check. Perception check. A D twenty plus Two, I believe. Twenty plus two. Uh, if I remember correctly, perception. I am so not plus perceptive. Yes, uh, D twenty plus two. I'm oblivious. I get a minus one. one. Oh. Uh, I get a minus one. A one. <laughs> I'm buried um, in okay, the Okay, that's a that's a that's a nineteen plus one, so that's a twenty, but it's not a natural twenty. Okay, uh, two things. You feel a almost like somebody. Uh, flew through your body. Oh no. Oh dear. And then at the same time, you turn to look and you see it. a feeling that something flew through Reiner's body. You see another beast just immediately to your left rear. rear. And you guys don't see this one. Put that one right behind them. And Borinth, because he rolled so well, didn't see that one either. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling very good about this. Mm. Right. I feel great about All this. Right. I'll hang on to the dead ones. <laughs> oh, I might need them again. <laughs> Those go under the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on Mattias, yeah. he swings away at you, trying to kind of trying to grapple away at you. And oh, I need one more die. And your armor class twenty one. He has one one hit on you. These arms lash out at you. Make a DC 15 con save, please. Is it con? DC 15 con save. The I'm sorry, did I? No, strength. Okay. I'm sorry, DC 15. Oh, strength. strength. Oh, in that case. Did I say uh, con? That's strength. Not good for us. It, 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 it's strength save, right? A 16. A 16. So this arm lashes around you, and you manage to just manage to break free of it. On Boren, uh, the one moves forward. A nat 20. Give me a uh oh. Actually, it's not a critical. He, it's just an arm. The arm, the two arm, two arms are lashed around you. Give me two DC 15 strength saves. Push one forward toward the two of you guys up top. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going after Zyman. 21 and a 22. A 21. So these two arms, these these kind of ropish like arms, all wrap around you, and they both. You just managed to. Break free of both of them. Not many. Well, actually, I only did plus five, so it was plus nine. So it would have been more than that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Probably doing that wrong, but whatever. Okay. Uh, on Zyman, give me two DC 15 strength saves. No and no. <laughs> okay. He pulls you in toward himself. These two arms ah! wrapped around you. I, th I think I am doing this wrong here, guys, but uh, but whatever. Okay, he, oh, how cute. he bites away at you. Well, they're, are they grapple attacks? Or are they... Uh, yeah, I mean, he, if he successfully does it, then you have an escape of DC 15 strength. So it's not really at the same time. It's an He's escape. Hit first, and then... Yeah, it's a, it's a DC 15 escape, and then if... Uh, but because you're restrained, it's a disadvantage. Yeah. For you, it would be normal, I guess, because you might have advantage already. I'm not sure. I don't technically, because I have been raged. Yet. Okay, so but you get the point. I'm kind of doing it wrong, but either no. way, you didn't get out of it. So they, I already forgot what I figured. Uh, nine, oh, I did get it. 9, 15, 15, uh, 17, 17. 21 and 22 didn't get out. 21 points of damage to you. Oh, oh no! <sighs> We got a we got a nuke. We we need. Do anybody have a nuke? He's the nuke. <laughs> Does anybody have a nuke? <laughs> do you think these guys are fiends? Huh? 
think there's a theme. Well, the, only, theme the only so. problem is I'm entangled with them now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is. Yeah. Oh, up on Mattias. We're did, down there. Did we get on Mattias? Did I go on Mattias? No, I didn't roll on Mattias. On Mattias. Yeah, yeah, they attacked me already. Oh, they did. Yeah. Okay, and they missed you then. Okay, good. And that is. Or no, wait, Balder, right? Okay, Balder. One nat twenty. So you've got one wrapped around you, and when we get to your turn, you got one wrapped around you at this point. It's a target is grappled. Why is Tom rolling so good today? <laughs> the grappled target is restrained mm. and has disadvantage on so strength checks cool. and saves. So I'm gonna say he he's grappled you. He's got this this tendril wrapped yeah, around you. Allowed, and he, they're allowed to just grab with no opposed check. Hey Jesse, what's the backup character? No, you, <laughs> if they hit, I think it's if they hit you. I don't know. You're grappled, and then. You do your check on your turn. Okay, you, I hate you doing this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna look it up, make sure I wrote it down correctly. Right. So if it if it hits you, you're grappled. Then you you roll on your turn. You roll your to check break, to, to break, break it. it. Yeah. To become nope. ungrappled. Okay. You're look, gonna remain grappled. The blank the has the tendrils. Uh, blah blah blah. They. Okay. Uh... It attacks with his tendrils and makes and then and bites and makes a bite and uses reel and then makes a bite. The tendril, you're grappled, DC 15, and until the until the grapple ends and, and you can break the grapple with the DC 15, uh, albeit at disadvantage because you're restrained. And you can't use that one on a different target at the same time. And so I'm doing it wrong. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It, yeah. I think. Just, okay, so he bites you. He bites away at you, and you take. You take 22 points of piercing damage. <laughs> what did he roll at me? <laughs> <laughs> he bit you. He grappled you and bit you. He grappled you and he, he rolled. He rolled a net 20. Oh, uh, well, whatever. 20 what? Yep. 22, sir. 22. 22. Okay, that is them. You, who is up? Zyman, you are up. I am going to look into his stony eye and try to use my hypnotic gaze mm. to, to mesmerize him. <laughs> he uh, puts a tendril up in between your two fingers and blocks it. <laughs> DC 16 wisdom save. Gee, I'm sure he has a, a, a lousy wisdom. Actually, he's got a plus three on wisdom. I don't know why. <laughs> a 12 a, makes a total of 15. 15. He is incapacitated and visibly dazed. His speed drops to zero. He can not do anything. He is They've been a, incapacitated. They've been around. <laughs> They've been around for centuries, but so they get a little bit of wisdom. And maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe he would he, he still hold? Do you think he would still hold me if he was incapacitated, or would his group grip loosen? I think That's he, a good question. One, two, drop. three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, maybe three. He drops you. They four, the five, six. The they kill, he holds they on. You sound fair? Sure. Okay, what did I roll? Four. Four. So he still got you, but it doesn't feel like it's very That's strenuous. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. I'm just I'm just locked on him, so he can't do anything. Understood. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, Simon? No, that's it. Aldrich, you are up. Okay. Aldrich has a followed by Mattias. Aldrich has a filer of filer of love, mm. and it says to see the DM for additional details. <laughs> mm. That's it, all it says. It's all it says. The next creature you see in ten minutes charms you for one hour. See DM for additional details. Well, just so uh, why would you want something to charm you? That's I don't know what I think maybe that was a typo. He wants a hug. A no. I think you would be charming. Oh, let me see it. That yeah. person would charm you. Sorry. The filter of love. I would love. think if I have the thing of love, um, you see. It's odd that minutes. you're looking for love right at the at the wrong. I, I'm, going, I think I'm going to whisper to you. Do not, do not hit the beast. <laughs> do I, not hit the beast, no, Aldrich. Just without the one. without spending more time looking this up, I'm going to say the way I read this: the next creature you see, you. In other words, the consumer of this sees in ten minutes yeah. charms you for one hour, which means if uh, so, I have to, to give effectively it to use it, you need that person, your opponent, to consume it. Oh, okay. So if you want the roper yeah. to be 
I mean, I mean the thing, well, well, the stalactite to. Well, I, uh, I would have to be enamored you. to you. You'd have to somehow get it, it to drink it. To drink it. Does yeah, that I know make what you mean. It's like the <laughs> the duckling thing. Yes. You drink it, and then the first thing you see, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you're in love with. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. For an hour. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do not touch this one, Aldrich. I have this one under control. How would one go about? Would there have to be a, a attack roll or something? You would How would one them. go about that? That's How would you get it into their mouth yeah, to drink it? Poison uh, them or convince them to take it? I'm really confused at what you're. Sure, I'll, 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 if you want to try that, I'll let you do that. Um, sure. sure. Well, why not? What you. would that be? Just a I'd say slight of hand, hand or, or. Well, are you? Which one are you trying to do it on? Get one of us. Throw it in his gaping maw. I would try to. On the Give it to this one so I can convince oh, it to okay. drop the. Do not touch this one. I have it under control. Seek another. Okay, so you know. I would I'm, say just an attack. You know that there's one right behind you. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is oh, oh, I'll no, just not. I'll oh, disengage. Okay. Difficult you know, terrain. Just he's move half movement. You don't oh. have to disengage. Oh. Oh, he's, oh I don't think this whatever. I'll just go in the well, back. It, it is, does matter because that's an action, right? Disengage is a yeah. bonus yeah. action. Yeah. So you're wasting uh, bonus action for him. Okay, just rem what's your total movement? My total movement's 30. So okay, so you should move. So if it's 30, you can only move three three hexes, okay? Bonus action. Does that make sense? One, two, three. Okay. Yep. And I will attack this one. Okay. Nice. 18 plus H is. You 20. hit. Your I assume a bolt. Bolt. A bolt slams into the rocks. <laughs> So that is seven, nine, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen points of damage. That one hasn't been touched it's by Mattius and Alderic. How many total? Sixteen total. Sixteen. Oh, I'm sorry. No, nineteen. Nineteen. Plus three. Your damage. arrow slams, and you see little bits of it fall off as you do. Anything else, sir? Um. Would there be a stalactite that I could hide behind, or...? There are stalactite, yes. There are infinite number of places to hide. The question to. comes in is movement. If you've used your movement, you really don't... I mean, do you have no, any yeah. movement? No, left? I actually use my bonus action also now, so I can't do that. Either. Yeah. I can't. So... I'm out in the open. Okay, cool. Uh, Mattias, you're up, followed by Borinth. Question. Okay. <laughs> so, th so there's one right behind me, yes? My strength is a 20. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, can I use a free action to put away my bow and then another action to draw my sword? Yes, of course you can. Alright, then I'll do that. Okay. And then do I have, can I use my second my second attack act as, a, as, its, as its own thing? Uh, well, your second attack is technically part of your action. Does that make sense? It's not a sep... Now, you do have an action surge, which is yes. okay. I was about to mention that actually. I'm going to use my action surge to uh, to, uh, to take a swing at it with yeah. my spell. But just for future reference, your second attack is actually part of your same action. It's not a, a separate, a separate okay. action. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I don't think we ever really addressed whether that was possible. Sure. Sure. Go for it. You have a, an action surge, so you can absolutely yeah, so use your action, action surge. surge. I'm I'm going to take one swing at it. Um, Okay, so that's a plus. No. Let's see. No, plus my proficiency, proficiency, plus my strength, yes. plus the fellow's bonuses. No. That's no. five. That's three plus. That's yeah. eleven. So twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Your sword slams into it. What's the question, guys? I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to. No, that's fine. Go for it. Well, no. you're calculating your damage. What's the, what was the question? If if I have something that would increase my strength to twenty-nine, I was just. Wondering how many, what my, what my bonus would be. Oh, they were explaining. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, we got it. We're good. Your damage bonus is only proficiency, so it would only increase your chance to hit. Only my, yes. Yeah. Okay, that was the question. Right. It wouldn't increase your damage bonus based upon your strength? No, because it's only proficiency that you add, I believe. Right? For you giant strength? No, you add your strength to damage. You add your strength to damage, right? Yeah, you add your strength to hit and to damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, so okay. It, uh, you yeah. would, right? but you add your proficiency. Crazy, you right? only add your proficiency to hit. I don't know. Now, you got, now my brain's melting. I can't figure it out. If you're, <laughs> if you're, depending on no, what like class 1D8, you are. Like one d eight plus five. One d eight, and where'd you get the plus five from? Five should be your modifier. Oh, yeah, because proficiency is four. Okay. 
to the heat. I was thinking it was the other way around. Is okay, damage, but though, plus five. You, you but shouldn't be adding your proficiency bonus to your damage. I'm not. Just, yeah. just your. I was just, just thinking. Your I was thinking bonus. the just five bonus. was my damage. But your yes. if plus five okay. is your you you have a twenty strength, so your damage bonus should be plus five. Yeah. So if you're so yeah, was, if your backwards. strength goes up to twenty nine, that would be another twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty six, twenty eight. So yeah. So it would be plus four more. Yeah, so not plus four to hit, and then plus four more to hit, and plus four more to damage. Yeah. Okay, I had it backwards. Got it. Okay, that no, perfect. Sense. That's the answers my question. That's yeah, yeah. That's, please, I mean, can I learn something? Huh? Okay, cool. I'm sorry, Reiner. How much damage did Matthias do with his swing? Okay, Reiner. I still think love potions way to go. Yeah. How much damage did he do with his, his swing? 16. 16. I, uh, I didn't. Yeah, you, you I, I, I was checking. Room? I was checking a couple things with my character sheet because of uh, <laughs> uh, the discussion that was going on. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, so can I take my second attack with this then? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. I will do so. Uh, another 24. 24 hits. Your sword slams into it, bits of rock tumble off. And the damage is 14. 14 more points of damage is one. You're just slamming between your hacks away with your sword and Aldrich's arrow. You guys are just chipping away at it. He seems like he's Starting to feel pretty weak there. Anything else, Matthias? Good. Which, which that was pretty good. But... Nope, that, nope, that'll be it. Okay, Borinth, you are up. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn to the one that's to my right. There, okay. The one that's like to my side. I'll turn. Yes. To him. And um, first thing I'm gonna do is rage. Rage. Go into a rage, and I'll take my first attack on him. Okay. Um, oh, that's 29. Wow, 29, 30, 31 to hit. <laughs> No, it. you missed! Right, second attack. <laughs> um, oh, that's not as good. That's not going to hit. Um, 16 to hit. 16. 16 does not... Your, your first one slams into it and deep into the into it. And a 31 wasn't a critical? No, it was a 19. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the 19. Okay. Shame. Uh, I know. I'm like a 31, holy crap. And then uh, there's a 20 points of damage. 20 yeah, points that on that hit. one who's unscathed blew at this point. Blew a hole out of it and missed because yeah. you swung back <laughs> through the hole you blew out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's, he's and I'm gonna just turn. I'll turn huge turn. chunks. Yes, you turn. Can I see beyond him at all? You can, um... Like, can I see what, where, if he's... Like, is it solid ground behind him? Like, I'm just curious what sure, the surroundings sure, are a little bit. Because sure. now I'm turning towards him. You, yeah, you can see 20 feet bright, 20 feet uh, dim, right? Okay. So 10, He's not 20, on 20, 30, okay. 40. You can see about there. And you can okay. see it. It seems to drop off over in this area a little bit. But okay. You can't tell over in this direction. Okay. But I'm not, I'm more concerned. I'm not standing on an edge. Like, that's what I wanted to see. Now. No, you don't. You're like, uh, no, I'm definitely not. But it's not level. It's kind of like you're right. standing on top of this. Okay. okay. Anything else, Borinth? Nope, that's it. There, the Balder, you are up, followed All by right. the opponents. I will sever his limbs. <laughs> Let go of me, beast. Yes, it's just a DC. Yeah, you can chop through him, or you can just do a DC 15 strength check. Your choice. I want to do damage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got a 27 to hit. A 27. Cuts, I, I, you're I, cutting I, into the Roper's arms, or, or the, the beast's arms, rather, correct? Yes. Your bludgeoning tendrils. Yeah, 17, 18, 19, 19 damage. It, it breaks away from you. You are you are released from it. There was only one on you, if I remember Tentacle correctly. Tentacle blood spewing all over me. Yes. And what was your total damage there, boss? Uh, what I say? 10, 17, 19. 19 points of damage. And I will attack him again. Okay. Twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight hits. Nine, fourteen. Uh, fourteen more. You just, you just like big pieces of rock are tumbling away as your hammer slams I make big into rocks him. Into little rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, sir? That's it. Balder, it is the opponents. 
the one in front of, since we're on Boulder, we'll just do Boulder here. The, the, the arms lash away at you. You notice the one, it almost shoots out of the body after the other one broke off. He still took damage, but it almost like reappears instantaneously. Only one of them grabs hold of you, and he pulls you in again toward himself. What did you roll? I rolled an 18 plus 7, so that's a, that's a, that's a hit. 25? Huh? 25? Yeah, 25. Oh, shield. Oh, shield, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. I should. Yeah. Whoosh. I can't you... take another 20 points. Yeah. <laughs> the shield goes up and the, and the tendril slams into it and that ends that guy over on Borinth. I'm sorry about that. I should have announced what it was. My bad. Over on Borinth. Thank you, please. Over on Borinth. Uh, fumble card, please. <laughs> And uh, shoe, your AC is 15, correct? 16. 16. 16 still doesn't change anything. Here you. I don't know how he did this with his oh, no. five attacks, <laughs> but the the two of them pull you in. I'm going to say he only does, well, you're half damage, but you're, he would be two. So it'll be half damage and then half of that because you're... Um, Raging. Raging, thank you. Uh, okay, so he pull, the two pull you in, then he gets kind of like somehow <laughs> distracted and by my manliness. He's got <laughs> he's got like serious ADD or he's something. Like, wow, like. he's bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lousy roll. <laughs> okay. So okay, so fourteen halved is seven and halved is. Again, is three. You take a whopping three points of damage. It's good. It's good stuff. I don't know how else to do it there. Okay, on Zyman, he is just standing there doing nothing. On Mattias, the, the roper. The roper's on Matt, the beast, the stalagmite. He whips his arms around, and your AC 21. These five arms slap against you, absol doing absolutely positively nothing. And then everybody roll a perception. Actually, just Balder roll a, a perception check. No. <laughs> no, in that case, I'll 11. put him on this side. <laughs> Five more swing away at you. One a critical card, please. And... Really? And the others are all misses. How does that work? Huh? A triple critical. Oh. Draw three cards from the deck. Just keep them face down, please, and hand them to me. Oh, jeez. Okay. There you go. Okay, a triple oh. critical. Double damage to the leg. Oh. Double damage to the body and an internal injury. So, uh, you take oh. me just... Oh, boy. Ow. Goodbye, Ow. Yeah. Ow. Four, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, nice. eleven, and four, fifteen, <laughs> fifteen. Knowing you. Okay, so fifteen. Double, double. Double, double is 30, 60 points of damage. <laughs> but actually. Okay, wait a minute. One of them has a, a DC 15 con save. You make a, you make a DC 15 con save. Oh no, that's oh, at the end of the turn. Disregard. Disregard. Disregarding. Disregard. So you have to make a DC 15 con save at the end. And you're temporarily, you've taken damage to your leg. You're temporarily lose 20 feet off of your movement. So. Sorry, he's unconscious. <laughs> oh, you're unconscious? I've lost all my movement. Uh, <laughs> okay. Zero minus 20. Okay, well, then we don't need those. Put those back in the deck. <laughs> okay, that's the uh, boulder, or rather, the opponent. Let me see, we got. DM is not allowed to have triple criticals. <laughs> oh, on, on Borinth. Borinth, he... You already attacked me. He did? Never mind. Yeah. Who did I not <laughs> I'm do? Like, who's attacking me? Did now? I do everybody? I think I got everybody. Well, we got the ones up top, right? Uh, I can't do Zyman, and I did Mattis. That's it. He missed away at Mattis. That's the opponent. Zyman, you are up. Ooh. Yes, he's like dancing in front of you. <laughs> so, you... His arms don't feel as strong as they were before, so we'll call it where it was a DC 15 to break free. We'll call it a 
I, I can't take an action because I have to maintain my mesmerizing to keep him from moving. So oh, taking an action would break me free, but yeah. I would lose concentration you on. You push Why it. would you lose concentration? Well, because I need an. I have to maintain the effect. Does, I have does, to use an action. Doesn't getting a Oh, okay. Yourself. But you, you you can't do another action. No, only one action around. Okay. With concentration? No, it's different than concentration. It's, it's not a spell, it's a it's a class ability. Oh. Okay. As an enchantment. As an enchantment. Oh. Okay, I thought it was a spell you were using too. No, it's a... Okay. So what is the out plan? So what's your plan? I, you I, 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 I can keep can him from him doing happen. anything. The, like I, I basically have taken him and myself out of, out of action, but he can't hurt anybody. Okay. He can't do anything. Okay. So. Understood. <laughs> that is <laughs> Zyman. Alderic, you <laughs> are up. Pin cushions, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> absolutely. I will attack this one again. That's my, okay. That's my best option. Uh, wow. 15 is not going to hit. No. Uh, 16, 16 rather is not going to hit. Bolt correct? chings off of it. Okay, and as a bonus action, I'll hide behind a stalagmite. Yes. And that's going to be 32. So you are you I'm are like invisible, and you vanish. Mattias, you are up. Another one has run away. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so, so you're so standing right. In front of me? You're standing right in front come of and one. Come and go. Alderic shot at it with a bolt, and and the arrow chinged off. It probably bounced against your armor, and you didn't even notice it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I will take a swing Not at it. Like yep, you got two, your stuff. two attacks as part of your normal action. Just like roll them both at the same time. <laughs> I was wondering okay. why my right arm didn't move uh, as much. So. That is a twenty-five and a twenty-two. Both hits. Your sword just goes. Whoosh, big chunks right. fall off. Whoosh, and more big chunks fly off. Okay, and that is total a uh, plus, plus six. Uh, Twenty-nine damage. Twenty-nine from both hits. Ooh. Yeah. But I mean, it's only going to do so much. I'm worried about the fog. I'll do it. Starting dark. Two. And I mean, it's only that fun only lasts certain amount of rounds. It's just. He is like, to the okay. extent that a stalagmite reiner can start to waffle and, and, and looks like it's about to crumble, you see cracks in it and like bits as, it, as if it's like floating on itself and then it drops back on itself. Like it's, it's just barely standing up there. Anything else, Mattias? Nope, that'll be it. Borinth, you are up. Followed by Balder. Okay. Um, let's see if this works. Oh, it's gonna work. All right. Um, so I'm gonna take my hammer, raise it up in the air, and I'm gonna yell, "Kanusa!" like that, and a blast of cold. <laughs> oh, that's right. Blast <laughs> out of it in all directions. So it's. <coughs> I gotta roll to see how far it is. 1d20 plus 10. 1d20 plus 10 times the wielder's level and feet. Whoa. So that's an 8. 8 times, I guess, 10? Okay, 80 uh, feet? Eight, yeah, 80 feet, yeah. Okay, so it actually, it will cover all of them. It actually goes up, it climbs up okay. the 40 feet over the cliff because it goes up like 80 feet high, and then it goes another however far that distance is. So it would easily consume all of them. So they have to. You see this wave shoot out from DC 14 decks. DC 14 decks, and their decks is minus one. So one everyone. 12 plus the wielder's level. Okay, that one. No, that one. The one that Zyman is in. Yes. That one. Yes. That one. No. That one. A one. So this one critically failed. Okay, so... so 15 plus 10 damage. Okay, so th the three over here passed. Those two over there failed. So it's 25 points of damage to... Uh, the ones that failed? Full damage. Uh -huh. No, all, all opponents. 
take 25, right? And the deck save is if they're blinded or not. Okay, let me just do the, do the... So the one that Mattias is on is swinging away and collapses. The, the, the rocks were falling apart and it just tumbles in front of itself. The one Borinth you were in front of there, it took a total of 25, you said? Yes. So it's still up, but it is not looking good. The one that Balder was first fighting uh, is also took... It is still up, and then the one that's behind where Balder is is fresh and just took some damage. Um, Zymans, you the one in front of you, the shock Sorry, waves hit it. Does it affect that ability in any way, getting attacked? Yeah, he can't take it. If it takes damage, it... Uh, yeah, if it takes damage, uh, it ends. Did okay, so... No, it just ends. Okay, so yeah. it... You're wondering if he failed, because then he's at least blinded. Okay, so, well, the, the those two on... Uh, these three on this side failed. The one in front of Borinth... Borinth is blinded. The one in to the right of Balder is blinded and the one but he fell due to damage the one that Mattias was attacking was also blinded okay. but, but is down if that makes sense okay okay all right so then I can use my attack yes my attacks now so um I'll take my attack on the one that's right in front of me first okay attack. All right, that one that's not an, an action to use that no okay it, I had to roll that's why I rolled first Okay. I have to roll. If I get higher than a 16, then... Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. I forget. 26 to hit. That's you missed. Hit. No, of course. You hit your okay. axe or hammer and slams into it. Her. That's uh, 12 points of damage. 12 points. It is still up, but it is like... Okay. It is barely hanging on. Now I'll take my second attack on them, which is... Oh, two 12. Uh, so that's... Uh, 24 to hit? 24 hits is your axe hammer slams into yep. it again and bits falling off of it. 19 points of damage. 19 points. It's this one, correct? Yes. The rocks kind of tumble and just fall onto the ground, collapsing. Okay. Okay, and anything I'll else? And take my movement. You've got four or two 40. inches of movement, or two hexes of movement. Okay. Normally it would be, I'm sorry, four hexes of movement. Yeah. Normally you would have eight. Okay, uh, that one that's right behind me, that one's on the ledge, right? Yes, he's okay. up 40 feet up though, yeah. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna stay where I am, I'm gonna just gonna turn around and face this one here. Okay. Make sure I'm within four of him, though. I'm within four of him, right? Oh, absolutely. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. absolutely. I wanna be four hexes away from him. I... 20 feet away from him. Okay, then you'd have to back up a bit. Okay. Oh. You could do that. I just can't see the hexes very well. I'll just back yeah, up. Yeah, I tried not to make them too obtrusive also. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's okay. All good. I mean, so, I can't see from my angle. Understood. Borinth, that's it. Balder, yeah. death saving throw, please. Oh, I didn't know you were down. Oh, okay. That would have yes, been 17. Different. Okay, so one save. Uh, Balder, that's Balder. The opponents, okay, uh, they're going to turn and go for, go for Borinth. They, what is their movement? Uh, what is their movement? I didn't know you were down. My bad. Oh, right. I didn't realize. The only healer in the group. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, I'm not used to it yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, this one is not up on the cliff. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought that was This was, was up the, on the one that came up behind Boulder. Oh, okay. So does that change anything you would do? <clears throat> I guess not, no. Okay, he's gonna turn. I just didn't think of him as a threat because I thought he was up top. Well, he's gonna turn and he's gonna kind of lash away at okay. you. This guy is gonna come towards you, but he doesn't get all the way towards you this round. Okay, so the one sits there and tries to lash he's away at you. He's in rock and You got this, right? <laughs> you got this. He's got one. He definitely has got uh, this. None of those were blinded, right? That uh, one's. Oh, well, then he wouldn't do anything. He does. He just goes, whoa. I'll just turn him around like that. Yes. Please go off the cliff. <laughs> okay, that one. So let me just re-roll those again. Sorry, Tom. Uh, no, it's good. I mean, I make mistakes. Uh, so one, uh, one, two hits. You got two armed tendrils lashed around you. They pull you toward it, and he bites you for a whopping... Sixteen points, but you're raging, so eight points of damage. 
those creatures can be attacked to. How many hit, hit points do you have left? Um, 45. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. With the, with the having damage, you're fine right now. <laughs> well, fine. that's why it was important for me to get that rage in. Fine, yeah. with very large finger quotes. <laughs> yeah. Fine, you're fine. fine. Uh, oh, uh, Zyman. So he's the other, the other tank will be up with one point. You've never fine. left yeah. his arms. No, I never did. <laughs> so but his grasp would, would be returning. I his, would assume. Yeah. So I'm gonna say he's returning, returning back to it, and he's gonna try and uh, actually. I'm, I'm just gonna roll for them again. Okay, sound good? I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, a fumble, please. Oh, that's nice. And that's a good sign. That's, that's, and that's what you want a to one hit. His tentacle one snaps off. A weapon, one of his tentacles <laughs> snaps away. <laughs> um, and then one, your AC 10, correct? Uh-huh. And he, one pulls you toward his mouth. And uh, he, for one of the eight successful attacks, I'll use my. There was only one successful okay. attack. Okay. I'll use uh, Instinctive Charm. Okay. Uh, that uh, allows me to divert the attack, provided another creature is within the attack's range. Is anybody else within his range? Or is he too far away from... Uh, Aldrich the, the, is there, but Aldrich is, is, hidden. is hidden. Right. Well so, hidden. That, so that wouldn't work. Okay. Then he hits me. Um, well, actually, wait a minute. Um... He's got a no. He's got a range of fifty feet with his um, tendrils. So Mattius is within range. I would say. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, oh, D- D- DC sixteen wisdom save. Okay, DC or he has sixteen. To attack somebody else. His choice. Okay, and he fails. Okay. So he, with that one tendril that he used. Well, actually, he used it on you. He, he wouldn't do anything because he tried to, but he can't. Yeah. I'm going to say he can't do anything at that moment with that. Does that make sense? He tried to use it on you. That, that is your The point. other four did attack. Uh-huh. And missed. And missed. That's what I'm going to go with for right now. Okay. Um, I'll accept that. Gladly. <laughs> yeah, maybe the first one. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that'll work for now, though. Anything else, Simon? Oh, uh, well, that was his turn. Now it's my turn. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That was that guy up there, and we already did Borinth, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. It is your turn. Go. Uh, I will, still in his arms, reach into my pocket and grab a health potion and chug a lug it while being embraced. He just likes you, man. 84. Okay, while you're doing that, you're chugging it away. Aldrich, we can just skip up to Aldrich. You are up, sir. I will pop out of my uh, hiding spot. Okay. He's back. Oh, natural 20. Natural 20. Huzzah. Triple damage. Maximum damage to leg. Get rid of those guys. The target maximum. loses 10 feet of its movement. <laughs> okay. Maximum well, that's good. Too stump. <laughs> okay. So maximum damage. Too short. Too stump. <laughs> too many. Too many maximum. So oh, oh, oh. Maximum, maximum damage to camera. <laughs> it's a game board. Not another one, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we have six. So, 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 so the camera is now, a, is, now a, is, now a, is now an enemy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> Very well, thank, thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Mm. Is 26. 26 plus 5 is 31. It's gotta be plus the arrows is 34 damage. 34 damage! Oh, Holy man. crumb! Yeah, massive amounts of damage as your arrow buries deep into it. Right next to the side of the eye and the soft tissue. And it's just bleeding away profusely. 34 you said? Yeah. Okay, it is still up, but it is not looking oh, good. And... Okay. Uh, 19 to hide again. 19, uh, let me see, just roll his, uh, it's not quite as high as the last one, uh, his person. Yes, yeah, so you, you vanish in, uh, disappearing from him. Okay, anything else? That's how you disappear. That's it. Okay, Aldrich, <laughs> Mattias, you are up. <laughs> there is one immediately to your, the one in front of you went down by, uh, Borant's blast from his, his hammer slash axe. And and there is one immediately to your left, about three hexes away, that you can just get to. That Zyman is being grappled by it, and Alderic is shot it as well. So you can move three hexes and attack it, or do something else. 
I'll do that. Okay, Run. you move toward it. Roll your two attacks simultaneously and just roll the damage dice with him. Thank you. Okay. Uh, he drops everything and just goes to so, Gone. Uh, Gone. Yeah. Right. Ah, right. uh, I'll leave. The two <laughs> rolls Shield's still spinning. Hit. Let me see. Um, that's a. One is a natural 20, and the other. Natural is, 20! Um, come on, come on, come on. The other is a 26. Double. Double damage, Matias. Both are hit as your sword slams into it, taking big chunks out of it. So one of them is double damage, the other is normal damage. Okay, first I'm rolling the normal damage. Um, that's five plus three. That's ten damage. Okay. Rolling the rolling the one for the double damage now. Okay. One million. That's sixteen, so thirty-two damage. Thirty-two. Whoosh. Zyman, while you're being held, all of a sudden you feel you feel this towering stalagmite collapse underneath you. Roll an acrobatics check. A two! A two! Whoosh! You fall onto the ground in the rubble of this thing, and you're prone. Um, Mattias, it completely collapses. Anything else? Everyone team up on the blind one. <laughs> Did you see it yeah. fall? Yeah, it was right in front of you. Yeah, it's right in front of you. Yeah. Zyman, he's laying on the ground prone. He was in its tendrils, and he fell when when it collapsed underneath him. He just fell down and went prone underneath it. Yeah, or not you. underneath it, but like with it. I'm okay. Are you all right there? Uh, yes, thank you very much uh, for dealing with Welcome. him. From behind, behind the stalagmite, you hear like yeah. a little chuckling <laughs> after. <laughs> that stone is heavy. <laughs> okay, Maddie, nothing else? Borinth, you are up, followed by Balder, then the opponent. end. If I hear that discussion, I'm going to be like, the men are still playing down here. <laughs> one guy left. I'm going to, uh, yeah, go attack the one that's, uh, that's, yeah, right next to me there. All right, so, first slash at him. Oh, my God, look at that. Look. Look, you see that? It's a 20. It's cocked. It's like right on the line. I'll give it to you. Sure. <laughs> Are you sure? 20. Sure. <laughs> All right, it's How is there even a spot in there? It's exactly. literally cocked, like right the line in between the 14 and it's some poor craftsmanship right there. <laughs> what I got? Uh, if you can do that to this thing, it is knocked unconscious. Um, I've never okay. seen that card. Knocked unconscious? Okay. Does it say what, what I do for damage um, or is it regular damage? Huh. No, it just says it's knocked unconscious. It's just normal damage. Okay. And it says after a long rest, you have to make a DC 10 con, and it ends the effect. Okay. <laughs> after a week so, of being knocked unconscious. Oh, we just leave this guy here. <laughs> Next group will deal with him. <laughs> and then brutal critical, because it's 20, sure. so I add, so it's yes, 23 you add another die. plus another 10. So 30. it's 33 points of damage. 33. Boom. On the first attack, on the first hit there. Okay. Is he still up? Yes, he is. Oh. Okay. I mean, he's just kind of <laughs> looking 20, 20, blankly. 30 a hit. You, you miss. No, I mean, you hit. <laughs> All right. And that's uh, 16, 17 points of damage. 17. Yes. And he, I don't know how to phrase it otherwise, he is up, but he's just like. Okay, go. Tentacles are down. <laughs> yeah, his tentacles are just hanging. <laughs> okay, that, I mean that's that's all I can do. Okay, uh, that is Borinth. Boulder, roll a uh, death saving throw, please. Uh, what is that? We're adding con. As long as it's over. We 10. do add con, right? Okay, yeah. So it's over ten. We're good. Okay, this one he is. I have I have contingencies in place. He's got one more round. So Jordy's gonna come up. He's got two rounds blinded, blinded. but he just disappears into okay. the stonework. So you don't actually see him anymore, okay. if, will, if that makes sense. He uses his ability to like, just vanish. And our only healer in the party, uh, Georgie, he'll come and give me a health potion. <laughs> <laughs> I've trained him well. <laughs> For the moment, there's just this one stalagmite standing in front of you, uh, Borinth, run, just kind run, of... Run. I'm going to attempt him to run. Kind run. of run. just flopping there. It's like, uh, try to run. <laughs> try to run. Do it, run. He's no, he's just is. standing there. He's just in <laughs> in the abyss. Um, and Zyman, you are up. You can use half your movement to get up. 
And then from, from my laying position un underneath the, the slide mic, can I can I see the guy on the ground enough to reach out my hand and shoot a mode of fire at him? Which one? This one oh, here? Yeah, this one. He's forty feet down this cliff though. Yeah, does that make sense? Oh, uh, so I can't I can't see anything going on down there? Uh if you go up toward the edge and look over you don't have, have to, to do anything to get out of my pile no, of slide. No, I think you kind of landed with it. Okay. It's all just rubble. So you're there at the edge. You so can like lean I'll over. Get up and get to the edge. And sure, it was only one, one and a half hexes. You're right there and sure. Uh, it's only a... You want to get an attack in. Yeah, 17. A 17. You're, what is it you're doing? You're, uh, a fire, fireball. A, a fireball. Fire. <laughs> to the back of his stalagmite head. And um, for some bizarre reason, it misses. <laughs> ah! Watch what you're shooting up there. What? Something fell on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I have a concussion. <laughs> it's possible. Anything else? <laughs> that is it. That ends the round. I'm going to stop combat there. You can keep shooting at it, but there's <laughs> nothing right now around you. You guys listen, and you hear fluttering up above you. You hear all yeah. kinds of crazy noise throughout the cavern itself. If you want to continue to beat on it, you can, by all like means. Spartan kick him? I don't know what that is, you but know, sure. You know, like Spartan, you come up and you just give him a big kick. <laughs> sure, right go for it. <laughs> Roll the hit with advantage. Well, well he's standing 19, still. Right, he's 19, he's so it's a 29. Stationary yeah, target. It's 19 plus, <laughs> plus 5, I guess, right? Uh, 21, 23, 24. Because I'm not using my weapon. You hit. Roll damage. Oh, what do I roll damage? Oh, D4? I don't know. Uh, do you roll. Do what do you just, you just, sure, yeah, let's, unarmed. right now, just make it a D4 unarmed. plus, huh? Right. Unarmed, right? Yeah. yeah. You get your strength bonus uh -huh. then. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. So it's a four plus. Normally it'd be a one, but just, drink. sure, for, for the oh, okay. character. Oh, well, it's yeah, plus but, five, and I rolled a four. So. Nine points. Nine points. Yes. You kick into it, and it just kind of. Wobbles like oh, a, like man. a, but, it, but, like but it. it took damage, it took damage, but it's still up. I'll take a shot at it. And Alderic leans over the side, shooting this thing, and arrows fly off of it. I oh. think that, I'll yeah. go ahead and make another death save. <laughs> okay, <laughs> everybody's doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's I ignoring it. this thing first. That's a fail. If yeah, I lose fail, you have to use it, you have to use an inspiration to re-roll if you, huh? What is my con bonus? If I move, you don't get, I don't think you get con me. bonus with your. Uh, oh, does he? I thought you did. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 or is it just straight rolls? No, he's straight really rolls. They're just straight tens. Stunts, like yeah. yeah, I think he's like. No. He's role playing like stunned, but if I move, he's gonna. Yeah. He could attack me. I think me. their logic is it would be oh, obscenely okay. biased oh. toward. All right, take another. Someone pick me out. Somebody kill this guy. Someone pick me out. I'm gonna get you. I just so, I can't move. Did you pass? No, I failed like again. You gotta keep. You gotta keep fire. using inspiration. Ah, I want to die. The chips. No, you I'm gonna I get you. Can't. You're not allowed to choose to die. If you die, you die. But you can't choose. But that's also to die. a waste of inspiration because we're not. I'm in gonna combat. get you. I just I can't. We're not in combat. <laughs> I can't move away from this thing. He's gonna get an attack on me. Okay. <laughs> um. Is he? Yes. He's, no. unconscious. Is he he's unconscious. What are you oh, even I thought, even, I thought he was just. I he's thought you were just saying he was bag just like, of jello. Yeah. Oh, okay. For I was on the You smacked him. You knocked him unconscious. So okay. it's just like. I was just laughing right. at the fact that he's knocked out for a week. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was still up, just <laughs> hanging on. You're just right. ignoring the fact that one of your compatriots. No, I want to go get him. I was slowly bleeding to death. He was going to get to attack Teeth wounds. All right. All right. I'm going to run. I'll run over to Balder then. Okay. And he gets an right. attack of opportunity. Well, <laughs> 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 you say that. He swings. <laughs> you trip over his tentacles. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to I'm gonna go over to Balder, and I'm gonna open hand, slap him across the face, and slap um, healing. do a point of lay on hands on him, and I'm gonna say, Woden said it's not your time yet. Time to wake up. Time to fight. I'll just get up. I'll kind of shake the ice out of my beard. You did the thing, didn't you? <laughs> I did the thing. It worked. It keeps working. All right. Woden said it's not your time. Time to keep fighting. All and right. Look I, for the will, best. I will chug a potion of supreme healing. I don't think that anyone really would be glad to see you gone. How many HP did you give me from your slap? One. One, yes. Very generous. <laughs> One. <laughs> One slap. What? Very generous. 
Listen, yeah. if I gave him more than one, then if any yeah. rest can, of you fell, I can wake people up five times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're there in the darkness. Some of you are up top still. What are you guys? What are Alderic, Mattias, and Zyman doing up top? You hear the, some shuffling down below. If you look down there, you see Borant slapping Balder. I, I do not trust my climbing ability after seeing the most fortuitous members of, of the group fall, uh, fall I'll downward. Go down towards where the end of the rope is. I'll catch you if you fall. Oh, I was going to drink a potion of climbing. Oh, okay, I can climb down. Okay. Oh, that works. Take my potion of climbing and climb down the climb down the wall. Okay, no. One hour. Mm. One hour. Okay. Just keep track. Yeah. Uh, I assume I could. So we are go. So we are trying to get to go down. Yes. In the direction we are generally going. Yes. Okay. So are you climbing down the rope then, then Mattias, or what are you doing? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, I will attempt to. Okay, make two um, athletics checks, please. Athletics? <laughs> yes. D- oh, DC fifteen. Fifteen. Yes, okay. sir. And um, Aldrich, what are you doing? Can I do a dex roll down the rope? Sure, you can do an acrobatics da- going down the rope. Uh, 18. Seven and eight. Okay. That's 15 and 16. Mm-hmm. And 22. And Alderic seems to almost dance down the Dance road. down uh, as you're going down, just barely passing yours, Mattias. You feel something crawl over you and past you, and you realize one of the other party members skittered down while you were on the road. Playing true. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Did like a flip I over. I feel extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> you are both down at the. You are all down. The, now the entire party is down at the base down there. Can me and Georgie harvest some eyeballs? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Roll a percentile die, please. I'm going to start looking for the edge. Like, you know, like kind of looking out, coming out down towards the space. So looking 65. for where there might be a 65. little bit of 65, so four of them. You get you get four large eyeballs. Nice. Congrats. Four large ones. You're just going to start kind of scanning out this area out around us. Okay, so you push out further. You're looking in that direction. Uh, and you see that it kind of there's like another wall in front of you that goes up. It seems to rise up over here. If that makes sense, like okay. this is another raised area. Okay. Like it goes up pretty high there. Do you want me to stealthily scout ahead? Uh, I mean, I, I yeah. can, I can, I can <laughs> climb up there. I just took the potion. I can climb up there easy without. I mean, I can't see though. That's the only problem. Got to find a way through. Well, I can see what's up there at least. Go, okay. yeah, do it, do it. I'll, I'll climb up. To you the top climb up to the top. You skitter uh, up to the top, and you look around, and you see. That's what you see. You, you find this completely raised area right here. It's about another forty feet up. Just call it. And then if you go all the way over toward this edge, it just disappears off into the darkness down below. You hear things flittering overhead you. Is it possible to take a minute to breathe? Yeah, what do you consider a minute? A week? Well, short rest? An hour, uh, a day? It's 24 a day. hours? I'm not feeling comfortable in this I spot. need to use some hit dice. <laughs> I know, but you, we gotta wait 24 hours. Oh, well, then never mind. And you get good attacks in the time. Just try to find our way across this thing. This is an elevated position. We could have, we could rest up here. We have to get everybody up there. Well, that is true, but yeah. it would be safer than. Well, what's the further floor beyond the there? Can you scout out further beyond since you don't have to worry about falling? Uh, I would go to to that edge and like the the, the level that we're on and throw throw us uh, my lit stone with all my with all my. Wizardly might. With all your wizardly <laughs> might, it goes off into the distance, and I'm going to say you see about like that. Yeah. I see no point of termination to our journey, but now, now does this look like it connects, or it looks like it's a, a piece of piece, like just, but but beyond that's of, fallen. Yeah, it just yeah. kind of okay. crumbled off there. Yeah. Uh, this was a uh, support for the for the bridge, I, I believe. It it is all crumbled. Uh, the path forward is as treacherous as the path behind us. Nothing in this in this line of work is ever easy, is it? I'll continue to walk forward at where I'm at. So kind of 
along the same line as him. I'll try to free up some more of that area. Yeah, like a little to the right more though. Yeah, down in that area. See if I see anything else. Like, see if I see an end to like the area that I'm at. Okay, you continue forward and mm -hmm. you've got your light on you yeah. and you look and oh. you see a deep cliff there kind of disappears. That's what you see so far. I wonder if I can climb up on that side there where you're at. This, you said that this area here is thinking. like crumbling down, almost like you could climb up that. Yeah, you could probably, probably climb, climb up. It's kind of it's very that. steep. It's like a in in a ten foot space, it goes up forty like feet. Kind of if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. looks like that might be the way see that we have to go. I can send my raven over to the right and see what we got. Okay, so, so I mean, can you can can you go further past? Can you get through to that next pillar or that next raised section? Uh, I will climb down. That side. You're gonna climb down this side. Yep. Okay. You climb oh. down that side. Right, across. Roll a perception check. Mm, an eight. Okay. You don't <laughs> see wait. anything, but you hear what almost sounds like wolves. <laughs> I will. I will turn immediately around and climb back up. <laughs> don't go that way, guys. <laughs> What, oh, you climbed down. Yeah, I meant like across. Like, can you well, make your way across? Well, this, this, this angles down to the edge. Oh, of, it doesn't to go the edge of this prep. It doesn't go to the end right there. Yeah. This is a raised area. This goes down to like here, but it's it's a steep descent. Oh, it's like it goes okay. from forty in the space of ten feet, maybe it descends yeah. like forty feet. So it's not like a gradual. Slip. It's a piece of the bridge that collapsed. Okay. 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 I thought it was also connected to the top here, so we could walk up no, to no. here. Okay. No, got it. Right. That's the same way plane is at. Oh, uh, we gotta find a way to cross this. There, there sounds like there are beasts beyond that direction. Perhaps we should venture off. <clears throat> Anything to the right there, to Balder? The right. To the right of you? Is that you end watch, there? You watch my back. I'll send the raven up. Okay. Okay. You send your your raisin has raisin. Your raven has his little pebble with him, and he's he goes and I assume he's flying low level again. And he's how many hit points are you at right now, um, Mattias? How many hit points are you at? Um, last last count I had around seventy five. Okay, and uh, Brian forty one. Forty. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm four. at forty five. Forty five. Uh, Joe thirty four. Thirty four. Still, and <laughs> Ryan forty one. 41, you guys are doing good. Jess? 41 as well. <laughs> wow. He does 30 in one hit. We're doing great. <laughs> okay. Great for him. Okay, he goes low. Actually, he Which way is he going? <laughs> Which way is the raven flying? Sure. He's going to die. That one. Something that Circular represents him. Right? Okay. He's a big raven. He's too... Okay. <laughs> he goes, he Big flies bones. along, and he there eventually comes to, it looks like it kind of stair steps up in this up. area. Not like it was man-made to stair step, but if you look, it kind of gradually goes up, like five feet, ten Ooh, feet, pretty good this way. another mm -hmm. five feet, if you will. And then he gets, what, let me see, he goes, uh, he goes to, he keeps going. Okay, he, yeah. he gets to about here. Uh, roll a perception check for Lassie. Not Lassie. Nineteen. Nineteen. Lassie, not surprised. He roll an initiative for Lassie. <laughs> That's a quick death. Barrier. 18. Ooh, 18. Um, okay. And they have a 14. He, he was, oh, wolves? These. Or rock but they don't. Huh? No. <laughs> they look like. You see you see Balder standing there, and all of a sudden he goes, ah! And he's like. They look like wolves, but they almost look like they're made out of stone at the same time. These wolves. And they. You. It's, it's Lassie's move. What is Lassie doing? Lassie disengages. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And flies back. Okay, how, fa how fast can Lassie fly? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we never had to do that. It's a raven? Yeah. Is it 60 feet? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, yeah. 60 feet. Okay, 60 feet. So he... Let me see. What's their speed? Uh, what is their speed, in. Tom? <laughs> you know they're coming. Like I'm going to say, position. oh, there it is. Oh, he manages to get away. Whoosh. I have the high ground, Anakin. 
And I'll put my poor Lassie into a pocket dimension. <laughs> Whoosh! Lassie <laughs> disappears. <laughs> so, that yeah. appears to be a good way to go, but there's one problem. <laughs> okay. Two what's, problems. What's over there? There appears to be some sort of rock wolves. But it looks like a good, like a way across here. I believe I have may I have heard so. them from the other way as well. Okay, so either way, we're going think, through them. I think the right way is a good way to go, and they look. If a rock could be squishier than the other rocks we were fighting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can take them. All right. I don't know how many there are. Do you want to try to jam this potion of love in its throat? <laughs> 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 If we can find a way to aerate it and affect them all. <laughs> all right, I Does can lead the way down there. Gun? <laughs> yeah, I could lead the way down there. If all right, we're all it. willing to go. Or maybe uh, we should send Mattias first. With his armor. He can speak to wolves. Mattias, you can speak to wolves? Uh, well, um, I spoke to a horse spirit once. Okay. <laughs> um, Same thing. Close I, enough. Close I enough. have a decent grasp of, of animal handling. Um, I don't know about speaking with wolves, though. Okay. <laughs> do you dance with wolves? Yes, um, that's, that's the real question. Why do we ask? Does anyone have we a have some seat? wolves that seem to be blocking our way, and we're going to have to go through them. So it's either I lead the charge through them, or you lead the charge through them with all of your armor and your shield. <laughs> oh, Mattias, lead us to glory. Please, Matty. You're just trying to, to goad me into actually doing this, aren't you? <laughs> well, we need to go that way. And... Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias comes to the front of the group. Okay. Just Good. working with all of you has eroded my sense of honor to the point where I'm getting very comfortable not defending you people. Right. Okay, <laughs> we're going His this His armor's way. still shiny. I'm, like, holding my broken ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your arm bleeding. barely works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go that way then, right? Fine, I'll all right, you. lead the way, Mattias. Blah, blah, something chivalry. I'm going to yell up to Simon. Simon, we're going to go to the right. On my way. I'll follow behind them. Okay, so <laughs> you guys down. start up. Put Mattias, I'll go right behind Mattias. <laughs> we're going to do like, you know. First step. I would, like, the first step. I would like to prepare a cantrip action with my firebolt. Understood. Since I know they're there. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Understood. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna stay a little farther back. So understood. Oh, understood. I'm gonna have him use a shield, and we're gonna. He's gonna do a phalanx movement. And he's we, gonna, all, we all do it. <laughs> yeah. I get, I get <laughs> the roof. Okay, there. <laughs> Mind, be mindful of the edge. Okay, you you're climbing up <laughs> and around the rocks, Mattias, leading the way with your. I think it's your shield that was illuminated, just kind of yes. blazing twenty feet ahead of yourself. You. you uh, roll a perception check, sir. And while you're okay, while you're moving check. forward, you're, it it kind of stair steps up. It's not like natural. It's not like man-made stairs, but it looks like the rocks kind of. That's a nineteen. Nineteen. You hear wolves up ahead. Okay, well, we knew those were up there, Matty. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> as you continue to move forward, everybody's staying yeah. with him. I'm assuming. Correct. Yep. Maddie, do you have otherwise. a water cooling system in there? Like, what's running down your leg? <laughs> <laughs> Is it yellow? <laughs> anyway. Okay. And uh, roll another perception check. Another perception check. Got it. Rrr, you hear That's another 19. A 19. Ooh. And they... Okay. Uh, Mattias, all of a sudden, from the darkness, two things leap forward towards you in... in uh, okay, roll a perception check as well. We knew they were coming. Yes. I, yeah, I'll give you both with advantage, actually. Natural 20. Natural 20. Boulder, you are not Another surprised. Another one. You are not surprised <laughs> at <laughs> all. Yeah, roll with me. advantage. No just roll with advantage, Mattias. Uh, for, for perception just, again? Yeah, just one more time, sir. They have a um, twenty. Perception. They have a twenty-three. You, you got to beat a twenty-three. Without being attacked. <laughs> okay. Um, let me yeah, see. The uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's an unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Okay, so Mattias, you are. Let's roll initiative. Everybody, roll initiative. Okay. 
Mattias, you are surprised. So they're going to go first against you. Um, they've got a... Okay, it just means that they go in front of him, that's all. Because their they're, they're stealth exceeded his perception. Does that make sense? They're very, very stealthy beasts. But Baldur's did not. So Baldur, they're... Um, they have a 22 for the uh, bad guys initiative. Okay, okay so um, Balder, you will not be affected by the surprise round. If you, not the surprise round, surprise condition, if you will. Opponents are 22. I got a yes. 20 initiative. Do I get to do anything with my held action? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, but also roll your initiative too. Yeah, I got an 18. Okay. I also had an 18. You got an 18? Okay, Simon's got an 18. Walter's got an 18. 26. 26. So your held action, is it a react? Um, you got my 21. Uh, I don't remember. Is it? Um, <laughs> All I know is I've seen people do it before. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what'd you get, Matthias? You did get mine, right? What was 21. It? 21? You act in the, he acts in the surprise round when they 20. act as well. On yeah. The yeah. Sure. The that sounds good. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. We all roll pretty good, but Damn. sometimes it happens. Too, right? Yeah, sometimes it happens. Okay, Alderic is not up. Opponents, it's opponents attack. It's the last one. I roll an eighteen. <laughs> uh, your armor class twenty-one, correct, Mattias? Yeah. And they are. So one hits you. The other one. Your dex is way higher. One's only eleven. They reach up and they try and bite at you, and and well, actually they bite and. Claw. Uh, um, so, and a natural one. Give me a fumble card, please. And then the other one. I hope it falls off the cliff. Uh, <laughs> slip. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> slip. <laughs> slip. Uh, how do you get? <laughs> so, this one ah. is tumbling <laughs> off into the darkness. <laughs> this one nice. here. You scared it. Yes, exactly. He uh, make a DC 15 strength yeah. save. <laughs> Mattias. Okay. Saving throw. Plus three, plus five. Oh, that's easy. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, you're not knocked prone by this, and do you take? No idea. We'll call it that. Take. You take uh, 12 points of piercing damage. Put that back in there. Okay. okay so and that is, and you go, um, Ryan. With your held action. Held action. Uh, so I will cast a firebolt at him. And it wasn't that Aldrich didn't go. We're just doing the, the surprise condition. Okay, you're... Uh, 16? A 16... Whoosh, your firebolt, whoosh, and it misses. You see it shoot right past it. All right. Okay. Okay. Now we're at the top of the round. Alderic, you are up. I will target him with the crossbow. Okay. And I'm guessing that a 11 does not hit. Uh, no. Okay. 11 does not hit. And you're kind of having a tough time seeing around Balder and Mattias for the moment. Good luck, guys. For the moment. Okay. The opponents are up. Well, that was convenient. Okay, a few more come charging oh. down at Mattias. I think there was only two. Hmm? Oh, no, uh, I'm not exactly. There's word. never <laughs> just two <laughs> wolves. <laughs> huh? We learned this a long time ago. There's never just two wolves. It's okay, we have boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already used that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Mattias, three wolves are attacking away at you. Um. One claw swipes away at you, uh, doing uh, nine points of damage. Uh, me? Yes, miss, miss, fumble card, please. And not, uh, the, the, the one of the second one. Hit an ally, half damage. Hit an ally, half damage. Awesome. And <laughs> and a second claw hits you for seven points of damage. And one of these guys takes. Uh, five on himself. Uh, we'll just call it that one over there, minus five. Okay, so you got two claws hacked away at you, but they did not... 
You did not have to get knocked prone, if you will. Okay, that is the opponent. Mattias, you are up. Okay, I will look. Uh, there's one right in front of me. There's three right in front of you, dude. <laughs> you got a party okay, going. Okay, I will attack. Actually, will there's attack two, there's kind of three Natural and 20. one more. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Pull a critical card, please, for him. Wow. Double damage. Uh, and slip. Okay. <laughs> DC 15 con save. DC 15 con. They're plus five on a con. A two, seven. Fail. Okay, with a fail, you have uh, extra damage. Uh, target okay. takes an additional 1d6 point of damage. So double damage and another 1d6, Mattias. Uh, and it, it is okay. at the end of the round, uh, yes. Every see. round? Yes. Okay, just rem help me remember that, guys. Or just put it next to this guy over here. Can I read that right? Okay. Uh, they do get to make a save each time they go. Okay, so just if they fail, they take the one right there next to that guy. 17 plus a d6, you said? Yes, I did. So 22. 22. It is still up. It is still up. Anything else? No. Um, Borinth, you are up. No. Alright, is there room for me to get side yes, by side? Yes, there's now? probably room. You can kind of nudge him to one side and you'll mm -hmm. probably get in there. The scary side, okay. Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Oh, yeah, if he like, slips, that's a long way down. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go right in there. Into and, the darkness uh, beyond. I'm gonna do There's a lot of them there, huh? <sighs> Light um, hammer thing again? Yeah. That was good. I can't do that again. I think that saved our butts before. All right, I'm gonna rage. I'll rage. Rage. I'll use it. I'll rage. I'm running out, but we'll use it. All right, so I rage, and then I'll take my first no attack with the no um, with the axe side. So I'm gonna try to swing through as many. What is there? Three or four? Three. Uh, there's three. three right in front of you. Yes. All right, that's it. I rolled a 19. So that's 19. 29. Well, that's 29. Th 31 to hit. 31 hits. So then it's minus four each. They all, each all edition. three got hit. Okay. So your axe just kind of cuts 20. through. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 20 points of damage to each of them. Okay. Uh, they're they're all still up. Okay. I'll take my second attack. Okay. Swing through again. Not as good, but 25. 27 to hit. 27 hits, a 23 hits, and a 19. All three hits. Okay, so as your axe. 13 points of damage. 13 more points. And I'm going to yell in their faces. Just, I'm just trying to... Intimidate him. Intimidating. Roll an intimidation check. Oh, really? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. With disadvantage, though. <laughs> okay. Because they are stony. <laughs> Can I use my strength as the. Uh, to sure. Intimidate? Why not? So it's 17, 18, uh, 11, 12, 13, You got 16. 16. And they will try and intimidate back. They roll a 17 without any bonuses. They go, <laughs> Right back out you, right back at you. Okay, that is Boren. Simon, you are up, followed by Balder. I will pull, pull a scroll from my, from my side and cast Everett's Black Tentacles. Ooh. Behind. Very cool. So 20 foot square on the ground. I think I can get all of those guys. Uh, and, and maybe more. No. <laughs> I hope it pushes them 20 feet away. Uh, that looks, well, that's about the size. That looks pretty good. Uh. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Fine. You got room for more than that, Tom, if you want. Huh? You got room for more. <laughs> I know. Uh, when a creature a enters wall. the affected area for the first time, on a turn or starts its turn there, succeed a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage and be restrained by the tentacles. Ooh, very cool. So, uh, all six of these? Say? All of them, yeah. Okay, okay, all six of them need dex saves. Dex saves, yeah. Okay, we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six is the order. One, what's the DC? Uh, 16. 16. One, uh, save. Uh, two, uh, fail, oh, you got um, 
three, nat 20 save, coming to back row, uh, fail, save, and what did you say, DC 16? Yes. Save. So, save, fail, save, fail, save, save, if that makes sense. Okay. Anybody that failed takes 11 points of damage. Okay. And is restrained. Okay. Very nice. Okay, and the other and the non. Uh, no effect for the ones that made the save. Okay. But if they're in the area on the next turn, they have to understood make, make the save. Yeah. Understood. Does it get an attack of opportunity? Uh, well, if it's restrained, it's restrained. Otherwise, no, I meant it's... like if something moves out. Of no, it's... Okay. no, it's just... okay. Good enough. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, that is it. Okay, Focus that is that. Zyman Balder. You are up. Kind of just crack my fingers uh, and cast a shatter spell. Shatter. It will get all of them. Ten okay. foot radius. Okay. Uh, I cast it right on his tendrils. Okay. So yep. Do away. Uh, what's the save? So they are going to make a sixteen con save. Sixteen but con. They're good but. in con, but they will be all at disadvantage because they're inorganic material. Okay. Good point. Okay. So. Uh, fail. Number two, just doing it the same way before. And, uh, 16 DC? Yeah. Uh, fail. Uh, save. So fail, fail, save. Um, uh, save. Cocked. Uh, definite save. And definite save. So save, 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 and I think, I think fail, fail, save. Yeah, fail, save, save. If I was correct. Okay, so one so fail, five save. Nineteen damage to everyone who failed, nice. and half to everyone who. Nineteen. Saved. So. So nineteen on that far one there, in front of. Uh, and then how much to the others? So it'd be half, yeah. half would be nine, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, You're a lion. The drum kit from his kip around. <laughs> okay. Anything else? That was pretty devastating. Yes. Awesome. They're Anything all else? Still up? Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, two of them are restrained, though. This one's restrained, and this one's restrained. Okay. Okay. And, okay, that is Balder. Alderic, you are up. Okay, I will take a shot at the closest one up front with the crossbow. Thirteen hits. No, <laughs> not doing your well. arrow chinks against yeah. some stones oh, nearby <laughs> and scatters off into the distance. <laughs> Anything else? Nothing. No, I'll direct the opponents. Okay, does the restrained one get a save or anything while you're at looking the, that up? At the beginning of their turn, they start of its turn, they make another. Everybody that's in the twenty foot square makes another dexterity save. If they're already restrained, they take 3d6 bludgeoning. Okay. Okay, so... If they don't. At the start of their turn. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the start of their turn, so yeah, they all so have that, to save. So they all have to save again. The save again. Okay, and... Is this a disadvantage, or is this straight? No, nah, just regular. Okay. And 18. A fail on the one that previously failed. A fail on this one over here, who did not... Uh, who was fine before. Um, the ones in the back, the restraint, does the restraint one have to make a save? Uh, it seems like everybody can make the save. Okay, each so time. he saved, the, the restraint one in the back row saved the DC 16, you said, correct? Yep. The middle one saved, and the far right one saved. So you got, you have restrained and restrained. These two are restrained right now. Okay. The two that were restrained at the beginning of the round take 11 points of damage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and... And that, would, and that would be taking a lot of damage. It, till the beginning of the, their next turn, the, the ones that are restrained huh? take damage on their the beginning of their next turn. Okay, so... I'm not here 
right side. This one's restrained. Mm -hmm. And this one is restrained right now. Yeah. Okay, so these are going to, do they need to do anything to disengage? No, not yeah, if they're okay. not restrained. So they're, yeah, right. these four are gonna try and scatter. And this one, he will, he's gonna try and just leap up and slam himself into Boren. He's gonna try and knock you prone. Make a strength save, sir. And he's also gonna bite you too. Natural 20. Natural 20. 20. He, you're this dog. He grab him and him leaps. <laughs> you know, he's right next to the. He leaps up on top of you and you're like wrestling with him at, at, at this time. And he sits there and he he bites. What? Uh, that, uh, that's a hit. He bites into you and you take twenty points of piercing damage. You're raging, so have so right? ten points of 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 ten points of piercing damage. <laughs> and that, that is move. these two are restrained, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that is it. They kind of disappear off into the darkness. You Stealthy ability. And Mattias, you are up. You have two that are restrained in front of you. So that gives you, I think, just advantage, advantage to time. hit. And advantage to hit. And you uh, you have two in front of you. You have three in front of you, but okay. two directly in front of you. Okay, I will attack the I will attack one, one of the ones in front of me. Okay, you've got them been damaged yet? You haven't? Yeah. Uh, they've both been damaged. Um, you have advantage, so roll two d20s uh, twice for your two attacks, and might as well just roll your damage at the same time. To... Okay? Okay, that's a 17 and a 13 plus 8. That's, that's a hit. Okay, thir Okay. so b both are hits. I know that much, because the other one is a 12 plus a 13 plus an 8 plus a 3. Okay. So you got your two hits. Roll your damage. Okay. Um, let's see, that's a three, and that is a seven. So three plus five plus three. Uh, that's eleven. And a seven plus three plus five, fifteen. Fifteen total from both the attacks. <laughs> no, fifteen from one. But just and, roll all your damage, uh, dude. <laughs> I, I did. Oh, for, I said I said them in order. Oh, okay. So what's what's your total damage? The first. Okay, so there was a fifteen and there was a two plus five plus three. So that's a ten. Uh, twenty-five. Okay, fifteen and another twenty-five. E three. Whoosh! This one just crumbles. The one you're attacking, under your the weight of your two attacks, just crumbles underneath your sword ripping the stones to pieces. Anything else? Okay. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. Okay, that's Mattias Borinth, you are up. All right, well, uh, there's two left right there in front of you, right? Yes. Uh -huh. One Axis is restrained. Them. That one's restrained, that one's Yeah, fair. I already have advantage, I'm raging. Triple attack. 8, 28, 30 to hit. 30 first misses. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> 13, 14 points of damage to the two of them. Okay. Right, there's two in front of me, right? Yes, this one, the one in the middle is your hammer cleaves into it. The stones just turn into pebbles in front of you and explode. There's still one there. The one that, the one that annoyed the crap out of me, bit me. Uh, that's 20, 30, 31 to hit. And 19, 20 points of damage. 20. And he is hanging on. He is okay. just barely hanging on there. He's icy little bits falling off of him. And his glowing blue eyes are staring at you. Anything else? Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Boren Zyman, you are up. Uh, still concentrating. He has to make a dexterity save. Dex or be your strength. Save. He, uh, and he fails. He is restrained. It takes 15 damage. 15 damage, and as you see, these tendrils rip into it, and he explodes into little pieces. Nice. Nice. <laughs> right. I gotta find somebody that has it so I can learn it now. I'm gonna burn the scroll. 
Maybe oh, the one you just did. You just yeah, it was, a it was a scroll that I had, okay. to, had to eat up. Come on, let's push forward. All right, we're pushing forward. Everybody yes. good? Let's keep moving. All right, let's yes. get out of this <laughs> narrow area. You keep pushing forward. Yeah. Which way are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Well, str I guess straight I assume first. you dispel that or... Uh, yeah, it would only stay in that same 20-foot radius. It, I can't move it, okay, so well, it I, would, I would let it go if, okay. we're, if we're moving forward. Which way are you going? Just I guess, str I don't know, where, where, just straight, I guess, at first? Straight okay. a little to the yeah. left. Yeah, no, straight a little to the left. Oh, that's you, no. our left. Our, your left. Yeah. Okay, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's almost like a little pathway almost kind of. Okay, you continue to push off. Radius is leading the way. Kind of generally in this direction, I'm assuming, you're saying? Mm -hmm. uh, or like, is it up yeah, this that way, way, yeah. Right, up that right. way? Yep. Uh, Mattias, you hear growls up ahead. Great. No. You guys... I'm just going to keep running into it. I'm going to keep running into it. I'm running into it. Oh, we got to go. I'm running into it. I'm running into it, yep. We must what do you mean? I'm raging still. I'm running. I'm going to run straight, straight through there because I know that there was wolves and I'm going to chase after them. <laughs> okay, you continue to push yeah. forward. You guys push a little bit farther forward. Another round goes by. I was hoping to run into something. Yeah. Not yet. It seems like it, it kind of climbed up on one side or oh, it pushes right. off to the off to the left, your left. Okay. Is that you can't see anything in front of, anything more than that in front uh, of us? I'm sorry, you probably could. Uh, sure, you probably could. I don't have the ability to do like computer. Blocking. Right. Yeah. So. Oh, and you we, see we know a we giant go up. cliff on this side. Ooh, up or down? Like we're below it. Yep, yeah, you were below it at that point. And the and the way to that you said it looked like it was going up to the right. Yeah, that's where the bridge. It looked happened. like it was up to this side. It looked yeah. like it was stair stepping up. up oh, okay. So let's let's, let's keep going up that way. Yes. You, while while the potion is still effective, do you want me yeah. to climb to the top to see what is yeah, up there? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you uh, spider climb up this yeah. cliff here, and you get up to the top. There might be wolves up there. <laughs> I'll be climbing right back there. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Make them come to you. <laughs> yes. And you get up to up to here, and you find like a raised area up there, and you continue to look around. Okay. About how high up you see? Let's call it forty feet. Okay. Yeah. Is, is there you a way up? Fluttering overhead. Uh, I I don't see anything to indicate a way out on this side. Just more noises of the cave. But. Then you see that it just like disappears into darkness as it climbs up a little bit higher. I mean, we know yeah. the bridge goes across upwards, not downwards, right? So we got to go up. Uh, th well, this plateau ends in a in a wall straight ahead. I cannot see very far. Oh, a straight wall there. What's to your left? Uh, oh, I will venture forward. I'll continue. Okay, so you continue direction. this direction. Yep. Okay. Continue moving forward. Why do you guys always put me in? Well, you're the one. You could have given. You could have given me. You could have given me the spider climb, and I could have been going up there. It's that low wisdom score. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, no just problem. Figure, I'll do just it. figure it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You get to about here and you start to see what looks like up, up high up. Uh, well, actually, in darkness, but you see the, the clear wall and you make out the bit buttresses supporting a bridge. Oh, or part of the bridge. Below it. I see, I see the end of the bridge. Do you see any way up to it? Is it anything reasonable from here? Um, a difficult climb. From this side, as far as the other side, I am not too sure. My wife's here. <laughs> Tell my wife not to be on the table anymore. <laughs> Maybe yeah. around the other side, it might raise closer what to if, the height of the bridge. What if we continued our way? What if we continued forward where we're at? What would we come into? Uh, I cannot see much further than you. Send the rain. Uh -huh. <laughs> is there any way for me to climb on to the bridge with the potion of climbing from where I'm at? Um, you could climb this wall. Okay. You start climbing up this wall, and you continue to climb up and up and up and up, and you think, all told... Um, 
Let me see. Let me just make sure I got it. Yeah. You figure it's almost, almost just best guessing it. About 200 feet up. And you get up and you're up here. You look around. You see fluttering things hanging from the walls right up near you. Mm. What are you doing? I will back back down the... Is there any way <laughs> up I... there? It is, it is a good you several s- hundred feet up. A couple hundred feet up. The I... rubble doesn't lead up there? The bridge rubble doesn't lead up? Nothing without secure, secure rope and, mm. and a, ability to climb well. Perhaps around the other side if we can venture over there. It may lead higher up. I don't even know how the heck we get to the other side. I did. I did hear from. some vermin. I did. I did not want to stay too long. It sounded like those beasts we met in the in the shaft with the with the ballista. Can I head over more closer to where underneath where the bridge would be? Like you towards sure. that rubble can. in there, try to see what's to this in this direction. Okay. And you see another twenty feet bright, twenty feet dim as you look off in yeah. that general direction. That's probably about right. Okay. You hear growls up ahead. Okay. I'm gonna keep pushing forward. We mean you no harm. Uh, I'll go back down so that I'm back with with them. You continue pushing forward. Yeah, I'm gonna push forward. Mattias, where where is Mattias? In what are you doing, Mattias? Are you following Borinth? Are you in front of Borinth? What are you doing? I would think I'm following Borinth. Okay, you're following it, Balder. Um, I still want to send my raven up to see if I can find the best way to climb the bridge. Okay, so you're staying back here? Yeah. Okay, Alderic, you? I'll, I'll be up behind Mattis. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you send your raven out and he takes off into the darkness. It's disorienting because you're looking through its eyes. It sees 20 feet bright, 20 feet dim around it, but it's flying in darkness until he gets close to the wall and has some reference. It's like just flying through trying to fly through a blackened ocean yeah, like with this this light bulb around you, but you don't know which way is up and which way is down. I mean, the bird might know, but you're kind of controlling it at this point. So you're, it's your sensory input that is getting affected by it. But eventually you get toward the wall itself and you start to, to, to fly up. It goes up about 40 feet here and then he comes over this way and he starts up starts up the wall, he gets probably another 60 feet at the most, and he's about 100 feet away from you, and you feel like you see that the 19, uh, 1990s television effect of <laughs> the fuzz starting yeah. to break up your your, your signal there, and, and you kind of call him back, and you haven't got quite and got, I haven't quite gotten, is that the, mm-hmm. is that yeah, correct sure. English? <laughs> you haven't quite gotten to the, to the bridge yet. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you, what do you do? Is he continue to recall. hover there? I'll just recall. You know, Lassie comes flying back to you. Please take care of me. <laughs> Too high. Too high. Borinth, roll a perception check. Oh, we know how those go. A one. A one. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> roll a two. Man. Awesome. It does not disappoint. Huh? <laughs> never disappoints. Well, I never disappoint. Big Mama jumps out of the, out of the the so, darkness and leaps at you. Um, that is a big hang mama. on a second. Yes. <laughs> okay. Exact thing. Uh, where is it? I would, uh, if you were surprised at the beginning of combat but not incapacitated, you could act normally on your first turn. Oh, never mind. I don't think that helps. Me. Okay, it just says I can act normal on my first turn. Yeah. If I'm, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, okay, so, but he's still surprised. The mm-hmm. bad guys have an eight. Let's set up initiative oh. there, please. Everybody roll initiative. Mattias, Reiner, roll initiative. Bad guys have an eight. But they have Ten. their uh, surprise condition on you. Ten. Initiative. Mattias... Yeah. Plus three, that's a 22. Give me a perception check, too, please. Perception check, okay. And Aldrich, give me a perception check, too. A five. Plus one, that is... 18. 18. That's all there, got. Uh, 24. Warren? Uh, 10. What did Aldrich roll? 
my perception yes. is only a 13. Okay. Um, Mattyus, you are in this first round, you are not do not have the surprised condition. So you may attack, you're, but you're behind Bo- Boris. Uh, not sure if it affects me. My character is alert, so it does not get surprised. Okay, so then you do not. Thank you for reminding me. You are not surprised. You do not have surprise in this, in this first round either. Well, it's not first round, but you understood what I meant. Surprise round. Okay, so in the. Yeah, but I hate the term surprise round. It's not really a surprise round. Surprise. Yeah. Okay, on Boren, Big Mama attacks you. Uh, give me a fumble card, please. Eh. And what does she do to herself? She's tired. Or maybe she's tired. Uh, no, she's not more tired. She's decided we're not worth it. Yeah. She turns around. Loses around. interest. Totally forgot. I don't eat meat. I'm tired. Oh, she has a point of exhaustion. Ooh, oh. Okay. So she here's the, she'll have a tough time on her skill checks. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, uh, the and one hit on you for uh, uh, thirteen points of piercing damage. Okay. Okie doke. And yeah. the other two are Not gonna attack. Hot. Huh? Not looking hot. Bring it on, right? A another fumble card. A two <laughs> and a and a. Let me see, your AC is 16, correct? Really? A slip! Is there anywhere to go? Not really. A slip. DC 10 decks or become prone. And one goes prone. And that's that. Okay, the. They haven't quite woke up from hibernation. The other one, the last one. Yeah, it was like, oh, what's going on? One of them hits you with a claw, and you take a whopping nine points of slashing damage. Okay. That no, no. Yeah, Aldrich. Aldrich. Uh, I'm gonna attack the big one. Yep. Uh, 19. 19. You hit. Yes, I hit. I'm scared. This plus this. Uh, five, ten, thirteen. Plus. Six is I'm gonna 19. Say you're you're kind of like right over here in order to be able to shoot that. Plus H is 27. 27. Okay, anything else? Hiding. Hiding. Natural 20. Natural, you are like hidden behind this little chunk of, of bridge right there. I'm like drags. I'm okay, like Mattias, go. <laughs> Can't see the map. Were they in relation to me? You've got, you'd have to right step right around Borinth, which you could do. You climb up over this little piece of broken down bridge, and, or you could step to the right underneath uh, an overhang, which is way up above That's anyway. Awesome. You could step right or left of Borinth, and you would have either an attack on the mama, what looks like a mama to the left, or attack on a, one of the other ones to the right. Put me to the left. I'm okay, the big one. you're to the left, attacking the, the big one there. Okay. And uh, let's see, I'm going to make my two attacks. So that one of them is a... Six, six, 19 and one is a 28. 19 and a 28. Uh, and they both hit. So, so I got an 8 and a 7, plus 10, uh, okay, so that's 8, 7, 15, plus 10, 25, plus, plus 6 is 31. 31 points of damage to the mama, so holy crap. Okay, anything else, Mattias? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Okay, that was the end of that round. Alderic, you are back up. Sweet. It's the end, end of the surprise condition. The, the mother again, big one. Yes. Uh, 16 plus 8 is 24. 24 oh, hits. Okay. And that'll be 6. 5 is 11. 13 plus 
13 plus 9 is 22. And 13 plus 9, 22 points of damage. Your bolt slam into it. And hide again with a 22. 22. And you are hidden from them. You're pretty sure. Okay. That alderate, Mattias, you are up, followed by Borinth. Yes, the yeah. last round was a, a uh, conditioned round. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, then I'll do another two attacks. Yes, um, indeed. In that case, uh, so, da, 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 uh, an unnatural 20 and a 28. Uh, both are hits. Your okay. sword and, um, slams into it. A seven and a three. So, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 6 is 26. Wow! She is still up. She growls hideously at you. Anything else? Um, nope, that'll be it. Borinth, you are up, followed by the opponent, Simon Balder. Is it just the one or is there two of them? You see two. A big oh. one and a slightly smaller one. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my last rage. It was the last rage I got. Um, so I might as well make it a frenzied rage. And I go just crazy, frenzy rage style, and I'm gonna do my first attack uh, with the axe trying to swing through to hit both of them. Sure. First attack. And 26, 27 to hit. 27 hits. And, then I'll and a 23 hits. Okay, I'm gonna do my second attack. 27, 28, 29 to hit. My second attack. Uh, 29 hits. And then I'm gonna do my third attack. And, and so a 24 would also hit. So and another 29 hit. And a 29 and a 24 hits. All right, so I'll do... You're, you're just slashing through, coming back through again, and slashing back through so the again. first one's 19 damage, the first hit. Okay. Second hit is, is 18 damage. And then the third hit is 18 damage again. Okay, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. as you're hacking through them, the two of them just taking chunks out of them. They're still up. Anything else? That's it. Okay, Borat, the opponents. Okay, the two of them. Uh, she. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm hurting. No, I'm, I'm raging. Finally. She looks up at you, and her eyes seem to bore into you. Make a wisdom uh -oh. save. That's not good. He's not a normal rock. Uh -huh. Wisdom saves, saves. Like, Do you have any special no ability for, against fight. fear? Like, like, yeah, yeah, I can't be frightened. <laughs> oh, yeah, disregard! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm I can't be frightened. You can't be frightened, so you just oh. feel these eyes boring into you, and then you're just like, yeah. you just like slough it off. Nice. And she still leaps up and tries to bite away at you. And. and. A, the bite fails. The claw scrapes against you. Make a strength save, please. As she tries to plow you over. DC 20. 21. 21. Oh, wait, 21. You're 24. fine. Sorry. You're still. It's, you just. This wolf yeah. is up on to top of plus you. Nine. You take 10 points of damage. A uh, half to five. Uh, the other one. Right now. I'm sorry? It's very important to be halved right now. Okay. <laughs> We're getting in those numbers. <laughs> uh, the other one uh, will attack away at you, and a claw, and a another claw hits. Make another strength DC 15. This one, DC 15. Oh, I rolled a natural 20. Nat 20. And you just brush it off. You take another 12 points of damage. Have six points of damage. Okay, and chip it away. <laughs> Uh, Aldrich, you see these things coming around the corner. Thanks. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure they're friendly. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, Shiza. Huh? Shiza. Some things dive down <laughs> towards you. A couple of these things dive down, and Simon, these guys don't get there. He doesn't see you yet. This one's running that way, but hasn't gotten to Boulder yet. And these three dive down and try and attack away at Zyman. They just whoosh. 
And one, two hits, AC 10, correct? AC 10, the first one, I'll use my reaction to use the instinctive charm so he attacks the closest one to him. Oosh, he turns and he goes and he attacks this D one. DC, DC 16 on a wisdom save. DC 16, they're not that smart. No, he's attacking away at that one. And the other one take, attacks you and you take a whopping. Twelve points of damage, and this thing is like kind of latched onto you, kind of sucking away at you. Okay. okay, that is it for the opponents. Zyman, you are up, followed by Boulder. Uh, so he's holding on to me. Yeah, he's kind of gripping you at this point. Man. He's got his protuberance kind of stuck into you. He's trying to suck blood from you. I'm going to just try to get away whether or not he stays attached to me and start making my way down. Okay. Uh, are you disengaging or...? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll disengage and use my whatever my move. Okay, so you're moving and... You... I, have, I have the potion of climbing as long as we're still within okay. that hour. Uh, uh, yeah, then I would say you can use your full movement because it's... Uh, because you're kind of like scurrying like a spider. Uh -huh. So you move, you go... Uh, that would be 30 feet. 10, yeah. 20, 30, thereabouts. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so you're back there. Or move yourself in that general area. And and one is attached to the yep. yep. person. And that other guy attacked his friend. Yep. yep. You got it. All and right. you really kind of can't see them at yeah. this point because they're in the darkness. Okay, but they're fluttering away and you hear them around. That was uh -huh. anything else, Simon? Uh, that'll be it for me. Okay, Balder, you are up. I will meet that wolf halfway. <laughs> Sword and I mean hammer and flames. Uh, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> nah, not gonna happen. Ooh. I'll make my second attack. <laughs> nope. That's it. What standing would you roll? Five, four, and two. Uh, okay. With the bonuses or? No, without bonuses, but uh, it's only a nine. Okay, okay. Nine, You're your hammer slams away and I'm missing and just kind of bouncing off of it here and there. Anything else? Uh, I'm just in front of him and that's it. Okay. That is the bottom of the round. Is everybody having a good time? Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am very sorry about the late start. I am very, very sorry about the oh, late start, but technology is kind of out of my control. I apologize. Okay. Going around the table. Let's start with Zyman tonight. What was your highlight, sir? Uh, my, my highlight and and my low light was having to to burn that uh, the scroll to to use the Everett's black tentacle. So I would have liked to have saved that to be able to that memorize it last time. Powerful, but, though. Yeah, and I even misread it. More of those guys should have stayed restrained after they uh, made their fails. They shouldn't have been able to move for the rest of the spell. But uh, lesson okay. learned. But well, no I, harm, I know no I foul. made some mistakes. That's so. all right. It's all good. <laughs> so. Well, I, any time I survive and don't and don't fall unconscious is is a win for me in my book with that armor class of ten. And you are seventh level, correct? I am seventh level. And I did see an adventure log from you, correct? That's correct. And so um, I do appreciate it. I did read it. I didn't see any hooks in it. Per no, se. not really. So, it's just kind uh, of a recap. But which is which is which is cool. Which is. Um, 2850 on experience points, sir, with your uh, adventure log bonus and your level difference bonus. Awesome. Brian, did you have a good time? Yes. What was your highlight? Um, I guess doing the uh, the shatter spell was pretty cool. I like I like when I get to take advantage of the versatility of the Eldritch Knight, so it was fun to have those spells. And they were all just grouped together, and I, I was reading the spell, and I'm like, ooh, inorganic. I couldn't resist. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Like, I was like, all right. I let's do, do it. I do read your spells. I ask you guys your spells, and then I read them and so forth. That is very cool. I don't remember all of the time everything, but that, that is I very cool. I enjoyed that. That is very cool. Um, uh, you're still tenth level, correct? Yes. Uh, One thousand experience points, sir. Right. Joe. Yes, sir. Did you have a good time? Awesome time. What was your highlight? It was a very close tie between. Um, 
dealing 32 damage points. That was to pretty one awesome. Of them. <laughs> and also, when Baldor was on the floor and everybody completely ignored him. Why was that a good <laughs> I think Ryan is called seemed that very realistic. <laughs> he was considering giving me the love potion. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. That, that would have been my highlight. Oh, that would have been funny. That would have been my highlight. <laughs> that would have been, <laughs> <That would've> been <laughs> pretty funny. But I was uh, denied. I'm going to use that. That's the ace up the sleeve. Yep, that would have been pretty fun. Um, you are fifth level, correct? Fifth level. Yeah. Um, so, and I did get a. I we I saw your adventure log. Yeah, I wasn't your sure if I did there. That correct. Your hook. But, okay, yeah. It was good. Um, it was. It was all. It was. It, you know, it's. My hook is to buy rope. Yes. You know what? But th that actually kind. Of, you know, even things as mundane as that. It's like I can sit there and I don't have to wing a shopkeep or something like that. I can come up with something creative or tie it into some other part, if that makes sense. So that, I find that kind of information valuable. Little For bonus. me as a DM, to make it other, can I wing it and add lib it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I think I, I'd like to think, in my mind, for me, I do a better job if I have a little bit of preparation. So I do appreciate it. Um, with the 2,500 uh, level difference bonus, um, 4,000 on experience points, sir. 4,000. Very, very generous. Well, it's not the generous. <laughs> that's that's not different. That's sweet differential. It's, it's that that's, you're five levels. It, it, it wears off. It's starting to catch up. It does wear off. It's wearing off. It does wear off. Does that pop you six? Probably. Uh, uh, it should be about what, 90. What is, what is level six? I forget. While you're figuring that out, Brian, did you have a good time? I had a great time. I hate to do this to you, but I'm not going to be here next week. Yeah. Next game. So I was trying for us to get through, to get and not end in an area where we were like surrounded. But um, I had a good time. I've always had a good time. My highlight is God. I'm sorry, Tom, but look at this. It That's is. It's wickedly cool. Random craft works made for me, Ryan. It's incredible. It's so awesome. So that's definitely a highlight. Um, and I just love smashing stuff. And that's what... I like smashing stuff, and I like that I can, you know, bring some people up from near death when I can get to them. Right? <laughs> so I like being able to do that as well. It's good. It was, uh, it was good. Um, I'm sorry you won't be here next week. I'm torn as to what to do. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll talk about it in the Discord. I, I honestly, I, I did notice that. I am aware of it. Yeah. I am, um... We can role play a memory. I I am going to be watching, I don't though, know what I'm going to do. On the beaches of Punta Cana. Ooh. This is what I'm going to be doing. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> yeah. I know. How much better do I feel? So much. So much. So much better. <laughs> yeah, I know. We can, we can, 1,000 on experience. Yeah. Oh, we, we you got a shot. level, um, you, yes. got a, you had a, uh, an adventure log, too. Yep. 1,350 on experience points, sir. 1,350. Reiner, did you have a good time? I did. What was your highlight, sir? Um, just being here, really, to be honest. Oh, I just enjoy mm -hmm. really joining everyone. Oh, good. I, you I, enjoy I, playing with I have a plan yeah, to change what you see, as we discussed, and so I'm going to try and set that up. But I had some other technical difficulties that i got to wrestle through first. So the plan might get slid slightly to the right to, until I can address this issue that happened tonight. Because i got to figure out why it happened and then try and stop it from happening again in the future. So, um, so uh, you're still level 10, correct? And 1,000 on experience. Yeah, I believe so. 1,000 on experience points. Oh, how okay, much 1, are they? Those are worth 100 apiece. 100. I believe I'm at 33,850. So I will spend three of them to go to 34,150 and hit level 8. Huzzah! 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 Fabulous! <laughs> 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 huzzah! Huzzah! I don't need my huzzah. I can't find my huzzah. Horn. Victory! <laughs> <laughs> huzzah! Congratulations! You are level 8. Mm -hmm. Level nice. 8. That is awesome. So I have an idea for next week. <laughs> you do? What's your idea? We all do a one-shot where we role-play characters from a town that we destroyed. Uh, <laughs> let me mull it over. Let me mull it over. I'm sorry. That if I'm it's easy, that. if it's easy for me, I don't mind deviating. That sounds pretty easy for me. Uh, the other option that I was toying with um, was it Sagut where everybody died? <laughs> no, it was 
<laughs> Which one I was actually, it? I think you're getting. There are other places in this dungeon, but I really wanted you there for them. And I get it, but I also yeah. wanted to deprive other people. I mean, this is kind of your quest. So yeah. I also don't mm -hmm. want to deprive other people of a game. So yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm on the fence as to what to do. And I, I might be amenable to that. Would you be amenable to a one-shot, Reiner, with a different character? Uh. Think about it. <laughs> Alderic, uh, Joe, would you? I love all my characters. Man. Uh, Ryan, obviously, Ryan recommended that. J J I'm fine with anything. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it. I got two weeks, and I obviously have some technical yeah. difficulties I'm, here. I mean, I'm, I don't want you to do any kind of crazy extra work. I'm just, I don't want Brian to miss that. This no, is the whole I, thing is culminating yeah, for him. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. But we kind of talked too. I kind of had to shift some of the some of the direction that this was going because we talked, I mentioned it in the Discord too because yeah, yeah, this yeah. was kind of also, um, my intent was it for it to be multi-class. Hey guys, just let's just communicate more. That's the, the message, the takeaway from that. Okay. Guys, I had a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. I apologize for all the technical difficulties. That means this uh, session, stream, what you want to call it is probably about 40 minutes shorter uh -huh. than all of the others. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. That's www.syrinscape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir for the terrific character art. Please patronize them by the at symbol Yenu Draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter. Please patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment on YouTube, in the Twitch chat room, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and on Instagram. While we do this strictly for fun, please comment and let us know how we might improve our stream. Please follow us on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram. Please follow and like on Facebook, and please subscribe on YouTube. Okay, got to listen to me pontificate for a brief moment. I recently read what I thought was a great discussion on a forum. The original poster asked, quote, is it the player's responsibility to make the DM like their character?" Unquote. He added, quote, I often find myself agreeing with the weird crap that my players come up with during character creation. When I say no, other players sometimes try to convince me how it would be fine or that it doesn't matter. It just seems like their concepts are clashing with the setting and tone of our game. After sessions, I start to not enjoy the DM experience, when I have to create stuff around their characters, unquote. I'm not sure I agree with his premise, but I understood what he was talking about. Based on the direction the thread took, I believe it also might have been more appropriately called, quote, should the players adapt their character concepts to the DM's campaign, or should the DM's adapt their campaign to the player's concepts, unquote. That's just my idea. While that conversation got me thinking, uh, let me step back for a moment and give you my thoughts. Hopefully, before or during character creation, there has been a session zero. In it, the DM outlined the campaigns they are willing to run to include the setting and concepts that would be appropriate in those settings. Just concepts. There's a, a difference here. I'm not talking about character classes. Ideally, a DM might present several campaigns that they are willing to run, from which the players might collectively choose one that they want to play. Either way, by outlining it conceptually, there would be a shared understanding of the campaign, the setting, and thus the character concepts that might be appropriate to that campaign. Having said that, there are scenarios, and this group is no different, where players join an existing campaign. They might not have had any say in the campaign or the setting that is being played. What then? With that, I would hearken back to the understanding that D&D is a cooperative game. In most successful campaigns, the players are collectively working together for each other's benefit. The DM is a player as well, albeit creating challenges for the players, at the same time cheering them on. As such, it is incredibly helpful for everyone, the players and the DM, if everyone has bought into the campaign setting and the DM likes the player's characters. However, once a campaign and the setting has been defined, the player should, in my humble opinion, adapt their character concepts to it. It is the player's responsibility at that point to create characters that fit within the stipulations put forth by the campaign, the setting, and the DM. Not everyone is going to agree with me. That's fine. I can live with that. So back to the original question. The original poster asked, quote, is it the player's responsibility to make the DM like their character, unquote? 
No, it is not. However, if you, as a player, knowingly create a character that doesn't fit with the campaign setting, and the, PM, the DM permits you to do so, don't think for one hot minute that you're ever going to be the Mary Sue of that campaign. <laughs> in the end, players, in particular players who join a campaign in progress, have two, two choices. Make characters that fit the tone and setting of the campaign the DM has put forth, or don't play in that DM's game. It's really that simple. <laughs> I will end my diatribe there. Thank you for indulging me. Always remember, in the Carpathian adventure, the journey is the destination. And the journey will continue, albeit without Boren, in two weeks. <laughs> so for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die and have a good night. Mm -hmm.